Yo, what's good everybody, man? We are back with another day of Doula, another day being charged up, and today we are reversing NBA history from start to finish, but from, you know, backwards. So we are here in the Magic vs. Bird era starting in 1983, the earliest you can start, and we have rosters that are all 40 overall bots, so none of these players are real. A fresh start, a reset of the league. And our first draft is going to be the 2023 NBA draft. So we have players like Wembenyama, obviously the whole draft class. And uh, we're going to work our way backwards. So the next season will be 2022, all the way until we reach the year of 2023. And we're going to see how the NBA looks. How will players' games uh, change adapting to, you know, the different eras because the sliders are different. So uh, I'm very curious to see. Before we get into it though, you know the drill man, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, this is probably going to be a longer video, so make sure you get your popcorn ready and uh, head notifications on because we're posting every day. Also, I have another channel, uh, I'm Dula, where we're posting more like commentary reaction videos outside of 2K, so we got content everywhere, let's keep going. Alright, so because all these teams are bots, we only have, I mean this is the beginning of, of time, so hey, stick with me man, we're going to learn a lot about the NBA history. Um, if we start and we see the team options, so team selection, there is only one, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six times three. Uh, six times three is 18. Um, really six times four is 24 minus one is 23. 23 NBA teams at this point. So there'd be seven more added throughout this video. And uh, because they're all bots, this first season doesn't matter. We're just gonna skip to the draft. But before we skip to the draft, I wanna see the league history at this point. So because it's 1983, Will Chamberlain already did his thing. We can't go back further than that. But if we go to uh, a career, Will is leading the league with 31,000 and then Kareem with 29,000. So uh, we cut him off short. So 31,000 is the record to beat. We'll see who ends up breaking it. It might not even be LeBron. It might be a random person like Carmelo. You never know. But let's go. So here we go. Draft lottery time. Let's see who gets the first overall pick. Who's getting Wembenyama? Wow. Wow. The Lakers get him. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay. So Lakers get the first overall pick. Pacers, 76ers, Blazers, Jazz, Nets. And my Pistons get the seventh overall pick. All right. With that being said, the first draft of NBA history starting from 1984. We have the Los Angeles Lakers selecting Victor Wembenyama, another dynasty player. That's insane. They always get good luck. And then Indiana Pacers are going to select Brandon Miller. That's a good fit, I think. It doesn't matter. It's, hey, he's, this is their team now. Everyone else is bots besides them. A star going to Portland. A man going to Utah. Uh, Cam Whitmore going to New Jersey. And Anthony Black going to Detroit. I will take that. So let's simulate the rest. First draft looks like this. The best player in the league is going to be Weminyama. He's going to be like the will of this era, basically. So let's just continue. There really is no free agents. They're all 40 overall players. There are 70 overall players who are, yeah, there are just people not drafted in this draft class. Here we go. We have Victor Mbanyama on the Lakers, and then we have a bunch of bots, 60 overall players. So the league, some teams are filling out. Other teams, it's just Brandon Miller and a bunch of 40 overalls. And then over the years, as we have more drafts happening, they will get some more help. So it's kind of crazy, though, because the Lakers really have the best team. Like, I don't know how we ended up getting all these 60 overall players, but it is LA, so makes sense. Year number one, let's see what happens. Victor should be winning MVP in every award possible. And like I predicted, he wins MVP, averaging 27 and 25 rebounds. That is a lot. It looks like a lot, but really it's not. He, he's in a league, a bunch of bums. So he also wins rookie of the year. Kobe Brown, sixth man. Imani Bates is defensive player of the year. He averaged 37 rebounds, bro. Okay, and only two blocks. I thought Victor would have won that one, but hey, I'm fine with Imani winning it. And that is all for now. So Anthony Black for my Pistons, he averaged how much? 13, 11, and 31 rees. Apparently everyone's getting rebounds, so that's cool. Now when it comes to the playoffs, the Lakers are the third seed somehow, and Philly is the first seed. So Philly drafted Scoot Henderson, I believe, right? Yes, and Scoot Henderson, he averaged 22. But we got Keontae George, Nick Smith, Jack. We got a bunch of rookies. Everyone came to Philly. I'll take that. So we'll see if it's going to be Philly winning the whole thing in year number one. And it looks like they're going to the finals. Yes. Will the Lakers or Clippers go? Moment of truth. Clippers advance. Clippers have Derek Lively as the rookie we drafted, but a bunch of good pieces around him, I guess, because he didn't even do that good in this game. And now 76ers most likely sweeping him. Wow. Clippers win 4-2. Derek Lively wins finals MVP. 
I'm really surprised about that. So Clippers not only had Derek Lively, they got Noah Clownley, uh, Isaiah Wong, just a bunch of, you know, high 60 overall players. But I thought 76ers had it in the bag. But no. So draft lottery in the next season. Pacers get the first overall pick. And then a Supersonics and Pistons. And this is the Paolo Bancaro draft with Chet Holmgren. So let's see who gets drafted first overall. If we did a redraft, Paolo should probably go, go first still. Jaden Ivey to team up with Brandon Miller. That's interesting. I would have chose Paolo or Chet. We got Chet going to the Supersonics. Uh, so KD before KD. And then Paolo going to the Pistons. I like that. Him and Anthony Black going to do their thing. And then uh, rest of the rookies. Nothing, no one really stands out from this class besides that. Year number two, and I think my Pistons look like the favorite. You know, we got Paolo, Anthony Black, uh, the Lakers. Did they get anyone else? They got Dyson Daniels, who he's an up-and-coming player. He's pretty solid. But Victor's already 90 overall. If you look at the best players in the NBA at this point, it goes Victor and then a big gap to Brandon Miller. And there's only like 480 overall players. And then the rest are 70 and under. I'm trying to see what team by the end of this video can end up winning the most championships. That's what I'm uh, most interested in. Will the Lakers still end up with the most championships or will it be a surprise team like the Blazers? Because I don't think the Blazers ever won a chip before in NBA history. I might be bugging though, let me see. Team history, okay, they, they did one, they did win one NBA championship, but it must have been a long time ago, like before basketball counted, so. Probably like pre Larry Bird era. Wemben Yama with his second MVP, and then Chet Holmgren Rookie of the Year. So this is gonna be like the 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 Bill Russell and Wilt of this era is is what I'm assuming. And then he wins Defensive Player as well. I bet. And then uh, Rupert, the guy from Family Guy, Stewie's a uh, stuffed animal. He wins Most Improved. Okay, okay. So Asar and Amen, All NBA First Team twin, and then Brandon Miller, Paolo. All NBA first team as a rookie. I like that. And is back with Philly being the first seed and the Lakers as the third seed. Portland being the first. Let's see what this NBA Finals looks like this time around. Will Philly go back to back or will Indiana apply some pressure? No. It's going to be, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Lakers and 76ers. So Victor versus Scoot and company. I mean, Marcus Sasser has been a huge player for him. I think Scoot's injured. I don't see him. And he is. Scoot Henderson is out for the season with a torn right MCL. And so is Nick Smith Jr. So lost a couple big pieces. I think Victor should get his first chip just off of that. 3-2, and we're going to a game seven. Let's hop in. We got a close matchup here. I feel like Lakers should win it, even though we're playing in Philly. Yeah, yeah. It's a three-point game. Let's hop in. So they got an injured Nick Smith Jr. who's still playing through the injury. And we have the old school Philly court, which looks fire. Victor's in the game. Okay, so we do have our best player in. Good shot right there by Nick. He missed it, though. And let's see if we can expand this lead. Wemby's playing point forward, taking the ball up the court. Let's see his game. Crossing over, spin move, and just <laughs> laying it up with ease. Now Nick Smith with the rock again. He's going in with the layup, scoring himself. Just keep feeding Victor. We got Miles Morales with the rock. What's he going to do? Can he kick out to Dyson Daniels? No. Kick out to Larivia. That sounds like a disease or like medication. Victor floater from Jamaica, bro. And a missed. 40 seconds left. Nick Smith attacking again. They actually have a chance right here. If they score, Nick, what you got? Picked up his dribble. We got Marcus Sasser. Hold on, he's attacking the paint. Kick out to, dang, we fouled him. Now keep in mind, these are all these are low overall players. They might miss a free throw, and he made both. So now with 27 seconds left, they're gonna play the foul game. I'm not trying to watch free throws to be honest with you, but I do want to see will they end up coming back? No, Lakers win, and just like that, Wemby Down will drop 30 points to win his first chip. So he gets himself a finals MVP and uh, the start of his career, it begins on a high note. Draft lottery next season, we have the Sonics getting the first overall pick. So this is the 2021 NBA draft with uh, Cade Cunningham and uh, Jalen Green. So who's gonna team up with Chet? I don't know who'd be a good pick actually. Let's see though, first overall pick, Scotty Barnes? Nah, Scotty and Chet is not a good combination. That's disgusting. Evan Mobley, he goes to the Kings. And then we have Cade going to Dallas. Okay. Yeah, rest of the draft, nothing too crazy. Uh, the come bucket goes to New York. Green to Denver, that fruity color team. He fits right in. Okay, we're good. Year number three, we have Victor at 96 overall. And uh, we got Brandon Miller coming close behind him, I guess. And his the, the stats now are starting to average out is, is what they would be because we have more decent players on these teams. More 70 overall players from the drafts and stuff. Uh, is that Kai Jones? Yes, sir. Kai Jones in Boston, 
But uh, let's simulate one game right here. I want to see who the favorites are. Power rankings say the Lakers are the favorites, and then the Mavericks. Obviously, the Mavericks we saw just drafted Cade, but they also got uh, Jairus Walker and Shadion Sharp and Jeremy Sacken. So they got some good pieces over here in Dallas. Let's see what happens though. Now we got three MVPs, and it's to be expected, bro. Until we until we go to the 20, I'm trying to think. What well, the 2018 draft with Luca? I think it's gonna be Victor winning like the next three uh, MVPs. So he could he could stack it up for now before real comp comes in. He's playing in the Mickey Mouse League, so it's all good. Now, can he win a, a second ring is the question. Let's look at the stats, though. Let's actually look at who the league leaders were. Outside of Victor, we got my boy, uh, Amen Thompson, averaging 27. Jaden Ivey with 27. He's doing good with Brandon Miller. So the Pacers looking like a good team. They got two superstars on the same team, but they're only the sixth seed in the East. So I don't know how that worked out at all. It's kind of weird. And they lost in the first round. So Pistons are advancing in Lakers. If it's Pistons and Lakers, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, no. Ah, it looks like the Blazers and Bullets. So who the Blazers and Bullets have? Bullets have Taylor Hendricks and Elpern Sun Gun with Josh Christopher. Okay, decent team over there. And the Blazers have Asar Thompson, Keegan Murray, and uh, Bilal. Not a bad team at all, actually. Yeah, battle of the mid. Let's see who ends up winning. I, I got Blazers winning it. What'd I say? What'd I say? Asar Thompson wins his first chip like that for him. In the next year's draft lottery, we have the Knicks with the first overall pick with the Bulls, Clippers, and the Sonics again. Let's check the Sonics real quick. They got Chet, who put up 15 and 10, and Barnes put up 11. This team is kind of bad though. All right, New York Knicks, remember this is the LaMelo Ball draft, 2020 draft. So the first overall pick is LaMelo. He's going to NYC. And then uh, Chicago's gonna select Halliburton. If they did a redraft, that's correct. He should go second. And then nah. Bad pick right there. Oh my God, I forgot. No, Edwards should have went second. Anthony Edwards was in this draft. I forgot. The fact that Sonics have him, Chet, and Scotty Barnes, they're going to be a dynasty real soon. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's looking good. Yeah, the Bulls should have selected uh, Ant-Man. He could have been Jordan before Jordan, technically. They're doing spin-outs outside of the... Bro, what are they doing? I don't know. Year number four, Brandon Miller joins the 90 overall club. Henderson is almost there. Evan Mobley is progressing pretty fast. 87 overall for him. Same with Paolo. Chet had a big leap from an 83 to an 87. And I honestly have the Sonics as the favorite to be the best team for the next 10 years. Soon as Ant-Man progresses. So this season, it's up for grabs, who knows? We gotta realize too, when it comes to play style and stuff, uh, three point shooting, I don't think was as, the tendency was as high for it. So if we go, for example, um, if you go to uh, player stats, how many three pointers are people attempting? Never mind, 21. So maybe the tendencies were changed. I don't know. We'll see at the end of the season, I guess. He got his fourth one. Remember, Kareem has the record for most MVPs, guys. I think he has the most with six or seven. Uh, Wiseman wins Rookie of the Year. Need him to step up in Detroit in real life. Christian Braun, sixth man. He still ends up in Denver. So that's a coincidence there. And then uh, Wembenyama, defensive player. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Anything new? The Sonics are the fifth seed in the West. Pistons are the first. Lakers are the always are the third. Now, but I, wanna, I really want to see the Sonics now because I'm intrigued. 15 points and 10 reads. Barnes with 14. Ant-Man with 18 and a half. He's going to be the, the future of this team. Okay, bet. So, let's go to the finals. I want to see Sonics and Pistons go at it. But no, Blazers sweep them. And hold on. Game 7, Portland and Lakers. I only hop in the finals game 7s. And Portland wins. So, Keegan Murray and Asar Thompson have a chance to go back-to-back -back against my Pistons. But you got to beat Paolo Bancaro, Anthony Black, and some very good role players. So, I think the Pistons should take it 2-2, 3-2. And we're going to a game seven. All right, man. Game seven in Portland. I, I don't know, man. I feel like it's pretty evenly matched up. I like that it's game sevens, you know, thrillers, nail biters, and is going down to the wire. We're down by seven. They they make the lead too big to come back. And they beat us. Asar had 24. Murray with a double-double. Jordan Walsh with 17. Wow. We lost. So Asar goes back to back. Or yeah, Keegan Murray is the finals MVP. But yeah, they have more rings now than Victor. Now this is the Zion Williamson John Morant draft of 2019. The Clippers have the first overall pick, then the Cavaliers. So Zion and Josh should be going in that order. NBA draft time, the Clippers select John Morant. So he's gonna end up in LA, uh, which is interesting. And then it'll be him and Victor battling it out. 
And the Cavs select Zion Williamson, LeBron before LeBron, I guess you could say. And the Kings, they get Matisse Thybul. Rest of the draft wasn't that good, I don't think. Yeah, kind of mid. RJ Barrett goes to the Spurs. Any notable pickups? No. Now we got Mobley at a 93 overall. So Mobley is actually going to be uh, an interesting challenge for Wembenyama because he's 6'11", but he has a good game as well. He just can't shoot as well. That's, like, that's cap. A minus three-point shot. But he, he's not really like a point forward. But that'll be an interesting uh, duel right there. Yeah, we got some good players. Now, this next draft, by the way, is the Luka Doncic draft. So Victor can get his uh, last MVP, in my opinion, before Vic comes into play or... Luka comes, comes into play. This Mavericks team is looking really good, though. 89 overall Cunningham with a bunch of mid-80 overall players. You know, depth ends up winning chips. For the Pistons, Paolo's 89. And the Sonics, Anthony Edwards has to hurry up and progress, but top two guys looking pretty good. Oh, no! My guy Paolo stole his MVP. I like that. 27 and 11. I thought, bro, what's going on with the people outside? These cars are crazy. Sorry. Uh, I thought Victor was going to get his fifth, but no. Paulo steals one. I like that out of him. Zion, rookie of the year. Uh, Kobe Jack Jones, cheese. Kobe cheese. If anyone has Kobe Jack cheese, man. No, funny enough, I got uh, cheeses, bro. Jack. It's uh, it's the ch it's um, Cheddar Jack, not Kobe Jack cheese. You know, but I had cheese. It's uh, Moby wins defensive player of the year. And then uh, Dalen Terry. Cool. Okay, well, Pistons and Mavericks are both first seeds, which, what did I say? Mavericks are looking good, so... Cade versus the team uh, he's drafted to in real life. What's going to happen here? Pistons in the second round win it. Dallas. Okay, we have the first and second seed. Who do the Warriors have out of curiosity? I haven't really gone over every team for real. Warriors had Jabari Smith, Case and Wallace, uh, Onyeka Nkongwe. You like that? Yeah, can I pronounce that correctly? I, I did my research. And then Kobe Bufkin, who has the crazy hair. And then we're up against the New Jersey Nets. Pistons versus Nets. They have Josh Giddy. Cam Whitmore and Jet Howard and Tyrese Maxey. Who, third team to look out for. Well, let's see. 2-2, two, 3-3, two, three, three, and the Pistons win it in seven. Pistons and Warriors is what it's gonna end up being. And Paolo, we're in game seven again. What I like about this video so far is there's been a lot of close game seven matchups. Who will pull it out though? We're in Golden State, you know, in San Francisco. You know, fun fact, that's where they're located. Cause Golden State's not a city, chat. We win it. Paulo had 29. Uh, uh, is that a star? Amen Thompson came to the team. He got a triple double for us. I like that. And uh, we got our first ring. So Paulo had the perfect season. Now the Luka Doncic draft, the Hawks are going to draft him if they're smart. And this time they'll keep him if they're smart. Hornets get the second pick. And uh, the Fruity uh, Maggot Nuggets get uh, <laughs> third overall pick. Now outside of Luka, it was DeAndre Aitzen and Michael Porter Jr. And Trey Young, he ends up back in Atlanta. Yo, they really love Trey Young. That's funny. I forgot. I was wondering who, who else it was. Okay, and the Hornets are going to end up selecting Luka. Very interesting switch right there. And then, then yeah, the Maggots select uh, the Jaron Jackson Jr. And Colin Sesson goes to Dallas. Interesting. I felt like the, the Mavericks should have selected Aiton if they're smart. Because they already have Cade Cunningham. They didn't need Colin Sexton. Or, uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm stupid. It was the Timberwolves, not the Mavericks. Their logos look very similar. But you notice how the Lakers have been, like, really quiet lately? They just don't have good draft picks because Luka started off so good for him. So, Wemby, he's a 97 overall at this point. Jabari Smith is up there at a 91. Scotty Barnes is a 91. And what about Chet? He's a 90. I'm just surprised the Sonics aren't like really living up to what I thought yet. But I give him some time, I guess. You know, he's up to 86 for Ant-Man. Give him some time. This season, I'm expecting the Pistons to go back to back. Cade wins MVP next, bro. If, if this happens in real life, that'd be dope. But uh, 26, seven and seven, that's, that's what's up. Luka, rookie of the year with only 14, five and seven. Noah Clownley, uh, we got bots now winning sixth man of the year. Chad Holmgren, defensive player. And this guy's always improving. Great guy, great. Okay. So, Cade and the Mavericks should win the ring this year, is, is my guess. Sonics are the fourth seed, Pistons back in the first seed. Yeah, no, I want to see that happen. Because looking at this Mavs roster, uh, oh, no, they got some injuries. Precious to Chewy broke his hand. Jeremy Sokin, he got an ankle sprain. And then Walker Kessler broke a right leg. What the heck happened to these guys? But my Pistons are healthy. We got uh, a man who's 85, uh, uh, Anthony Black's 87, and Apollo's 92. We have some depth on our team. And is that Miles Bridges? Yeah. We got Miles Bridges. Okay. 
we could work with this. So round one, we end up sweeping and the Celtics are giving us a bit of a challenge here. Hold on now. They beat us. Have I slept on the Celtics? They got Cam Thomas, Kai Jones. I didn't think they'd be this good. Yeah, I'm, they're probably gonna lose to the Nets. Yeah, they lost to the Nets. And it's Mavs and Nets. So can K get his first ring? Yes, sir. He wins finals MVP and had himself a perfect season as well. Now this draft is the 2017 draft, the uh, Jason Tatum, Lonzo Ball draft. Magic get the first pick, Heat, and then Bullets. So yeah, I don't, I don't know, let's just see. De'Aaron Fox was also in this draft. Magic select Laurie Markkinen out of all players. Interesting choice. Tatum goes to Miami, a relatively new franchise, I think, at this point. And the Bullets select Dennis Smith Jr. These draft picks are horrible. Mitchell to the Wolves, John Collins to the Hawks, just like in real life. Hawks going two for two. In the team up with Luca, we have D Fox. Bad choice. It's a bad choice in my opinion. But I guess there, I mean, I guess Lonzo wouldn't have been any better. Yeah, yeah, not the best draft class ever. So yeah, I was correct. The Hornets, when Luca got drafted, uh, that was a new team, and then the Heat were a new team recently. Same with the Magic. So four new teams have been added in the past couple years. So let's control all of them now. The Hornets look promising though. They got Jalen Duran back in 2022. So it's his fourth season now. Oh no, he's been playing for a minute. It's about to be his sixth season. Yeah, yeah, cause yeah, yeah, we progressed kind of fast. But we got Luca, Jalen Duran, and then D Fox, Cam Reddish, uh, Jamie Jaquiz. We have decent players on this team, but it's still Wemby and Mobley as the top dogs. And then Cade Cunningham and Barnes found them up. Things are getting interesting now. Cade might be the face of the league, man. Back-to-back -back MVPs. Can he get back-to-back -back chips is the question. Lonzo, rookie of the year with those weak stats. I'm surprised. Uh, Trey Mann, sixth man. Victor defensive. Tyler Hero, most improved. Okay, okay. So, Scoots, All-NBA first team. Paolo, Luca, and Wiseman. This simulation has Wiseman playing up to his potential, as he should. And anyone else surprising? Not really. Jonathan Kaminga's 85. Okay. And nothing crazy here. Dallas and Philly. Philly's the first seed now. So Philadelphia is looking like this. I know they have some good players. Um, Scoot, Keontae George, a whole lot of depth is what they have going for them. They got Bam Adebayo, and Imani Bates never really progressed, unfortunately. But okay, who are also the league leaders? I wanna see uh, league leaders. Jalen Green with the most points per game, 31. So him and Cade ended up being the best players from that draft class. So things are looking good for them. Out of curiosity, the Nuggets, the Fruity Nuggets with Jalen Green as their leader, Jaron Jackson, and then Lonzo Ball. That actually is a good dynamic, to be honest. A scorer, defender, playmaker, not bad. So let's see if anything surprises me this time around. Uh, it's been the same teams over and over lately, but I wanna see someone new, you feel me? Okay, and we have the Mavericks back to the finals and the Knicks are giving them a run for their money and they advanced to the finals. The Knicks have LaMelo Ball, drafted a couple years ago. Jonathan Kaminga, Benedict Mathurin, and Bull Bull. So it's gonna be LaMelo versus Cade here. I still have the Mavericks winning it. Unless, now yeah, 4-1 Mavericks. Cade is the face of the league now. Looking good. And coming up is the 2016 NBA draft with uh, Brandon Ingram and Jalen Brown. Hawks have the first overall pick once again. They just had it with Trey. Will they draft correctly? Because I think the, the, the right choice would be Jalen Brown? Oh, Ben Simmons. Yeah, Ben Simmons. No, don't don't pick Ben Simmons. He can't shoot. Granted, though, this era, let me see something real quick. If we go to team stats, how many three-pointers are attempted per game? 18 at the most. Nowadays, in real life, I think it's way more than that. I think teams make about 18 threes a game. I'm gonna search it up. Yeah, so this season, in real, real time, it's only been a month, but the Warriors have hit 13 threes per game. They made 13 threes, so they attempted probably like 40. So yeah, Shooting is not that important in this era, is what I've is what I realized. So Ben Simmons to the Hawks. This Hawks team looks like what? Oh man, Trey's not progressed at all. That's weird. Yeah, those first two seasons he hasn't progressed. That's 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 a letdown. They need Ben Simmons actually, and they select Jalen Brown. That's fine. That's fine. And the Timberwolves are gonna select Ben Simmons. Jazz select Demonte Sabonis. Where's uh Ingram going, bro? Jamal Murray to the Bucks. Ingram to the Heat. Him and Tatum. That's, that's like two of the same people, basically. I don't know if that's a good fit. Now check it, Mobley's the best player in the league. Although they're both the best players, they have not done anything in the playoffs. I mean, Mobley's averages are kind of mid as well. Wemby's putting up good stats, but it's not resulting in anything. It looks like Miller also put up good stats, but it's not resulting in anything as well, which is surprising. 
So the Mavericks are basically the face of the best team in the league right now. De oh my God, what? Wow, Wembenyama joined him. He pulled a KD. That's crazy, what? So Wembenyama joined Cade Cunningham in the offseason. That's ridiculous. They're the favorites now, for sure. We got a new MVP in town, Scoot Henderson in Philly, averaging 27 and nine. And uh, Wembenyama defensive player, Kobe White. I forgot about him in real life. What kind of, what happened to him? He's with the Bulls, I think, yeah. But Scoot, Lamelo, Zion, Jabari Smith, and Wiseman are the two players I didn't see coming in terms of being the best in the league, but here we are. Mavericks finish off as the first seed and Cavs are also the first seed. My question is though, what were the records? 55 and 27, 54 and 28. What's the worst team in the league looking like? Oh my God, five and 77. Oh my God, five and 77. Orlando Magic, blow it up. It's, that's wraps. Nazir Little, Laurie Markkinen. They had the first overall pick and chose Laurie Markkinen. That's on them. This team is garbage. So in this 2015 draft, they can select Cat or Booker. They need Booker. Honestly, they need Booker. But uh, Cavaliers and Mavericks, I want to see that as the finals. I want to see Zion go ahead and win himself a ring. Wait a minute. Yes, sir. Cavs and Mavericks. Zion alongside Jalen Suggs, who's panned out pretty well. 8-9 overall. Uh... Keontae George as well. All right. Well, this is a dream team. The Mavericks are 2-2. Two, two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They win it in six. Cade gets his third ring. He's three-peating, and uh, he averaged 36. Victor was just along for the ride. He put up good points as well, but he got, I mean, you joined uh, the best team in the league in your eighth season. It's kind of whack. Game is game, though. NBA draft lottery. Magic better get the first overall pick. They get the second overall pick. Nuggets with the first again. What do the Nuggets have as their, uh, as, what are they? Hold on. They won 35 games and got the first overall pick. That's wild. Drafting Cat might make sense here. You have Lonzo, Jalen Green, Jaron Jackson. Does Devin Booker fit in? Or do you go with Carl Anthony Towns? Let's find out. First overall pick. They choose the right person. Carl Anthony Towns. Magic select. <laughs> What's up with them drafting tall white guys that, that, that are, not, I don't know. Him and Laurie Marketing, I don't think would be a good duo. You could have had Booker. Instead, Utah drafts D'Angelo, and Booker goes to Minnesota. Timberwolves look like they have some promise, though. Donovan Mitchell, Ben Simmons, and Devin Booker. That sounds like a promising roster, to be honest with you. And I think the, the Sonics let me down. They really did. I mean, Chet Holmgren left. Edwards to 88, Barnes, they haven't done anything. I was really high on them. The Clippers are low-key getting better. John Rest 91, Bagley's 87. Any other teams, Trey Young is finally progressing. Him and Jackson Hayes. And my Pistons, we kept Paolo. So Paolo's still, he's playing with us with Amen Thompson, Kai Jones, Miles Bridges. We just haven't been back to the top yet. I think it's the Mavericks are gonna be like the, the Lakers of this era. They're just gonna keep winning. LaMelo wins his first ring in his sixth season, which in real life that would make it in 2020. It's been a few years who would win it, which he has potential to, to be honest. 24, six and nine. They went to the finals a couple years ago, the Knicks. So you never know. D'Angelo Russell wins rookie and sixth man of the year. Good season for him. And then Honey Walker, I forgot about bro. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Good stuff, good stuff. Philly back in the first seed and Spurs are the first seed. That is interesting. Spurs have James Wiseman and RJ Barrett. So they got Tim Duncan and RJ Barrett. On top of that, they got Shea Gilgius, Markel Fultz, Case and Wallace, uh, Moody. They have a, a really good team. I was not paying attention to the Spurs at all, but they have a lot of studs on this team. They might win the whole thing now. Mavericks somehow end off as a seventh seed, which is crazy to me. Cade and Victor, but they advance. And okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. We, the, the Mavericks are back against the Hornets. So the Hornets are up 3-2, and they were an expansion team. Remember that, just a few years ago. Who did the Hornets get, though? They got Luka, Chet came to the team, D. Fox, Jalen Duren, Jamie Jaquiz, and uh, Aduka Azubuki. They, they got a squad. So they're probably going to win it. Game 6 is going to a Game 7. We got to hop in now. Cade and uh, Victor against Luka and Chet is actually a fire matchup right there. And it looks like the Hornets have it. Yeah, right? No, I'm gonna hop in, three, three point game. So playing in Charlotte, I don't think they've ever won a chip in real life. They have the chance to right now with Chet, De'Aaron Fox, and Luka. What's the move, Luka? He's gonna attack. Okay, back down. 
I don't know who's guarding him to be honest. But he's gonna try to big body him. Post hook with the left hander, misses it. Duran put back slam. Yeah, that's what I, that's why I'm so high on Duran. All right, Wembenyama, show him what you got, man. You came to this team, you won a ring last season. Cade Cunningham, he seems like he's the best player of this generation. Real talk. That's not Jet Howard, that's another Howard. Good screen right there. Cade, you should have dished it, but instead, he's gonna try to attack Shea Gilgius. And no, sir. That was not Shea Gilgius. That was uh, Hubert Davis, I think. I'm not sure. Shut up. We got Jamie Jacquees to Luca. Luca! Yes, sir. It is now, now a seven point game. So, Victor, you gotta step up. Nice pass to Okoro. Five point game. They got a foul. They gotta play the foul game as expected. What's gonna happen? We're gonna make our free throws? Yes, sir. We end up winning in game seven. D Fox with 28. Luca with a triple double, basically. Chet, Jalen Duran, everyone played great. And just like that, Luca wins his first ring in a finals MVP. So there we go. Now we have the 2014 NBA draft. This draft class was kind of weak. It was just Wiggins. Pistons get the first overall pick. Now I think we still have Paolo Bancaro, so we should get Nikola Jokic or Embiid. This is actually, it's actually a good draft class. I forgot about that. I think Embiid would be a good fit. Pistons select Nikola Jokic, fine by me. Rockets get Embiid and Celtics get Andrew Wiggins. And the rest of this draft is kind of mid. Yeah, now it's going to suck. All right, not bad. Next season, if we look at some of the top players in the league, Aiton is actually a top five player, which is very interesting. 93 overall for him. It goes to show as well, sometimes just the fit, the fit of the era and the team will change how you play. Obviously, like Aiton is really good. Who else is surprising? Surprisingly really good. Uh, I guess no one. I guess all these people are expected. James Wiseman, maybe. Dyson Daniels, he 87 overall. But he hasn't really progressed yet in real life. Yeah, hey, let's run it back, man. Let's see who can win it now. And Luca wins MVP this season around 25, 8, and 9. And Nikola Jokic, rookie of the year. Pistons drafted correctly. Things you like to see. So Paolo's out for 68 weeks, so we're cooked there in terms of playoff hopes. Uh, we didn't even make it, though, so no big deal there. Knicks are the first seed, though. Remember, Knicks had LaMelo Ball, so can we see him back in the finals? No, nah, possibly. Hold on. Philly, yes. Yes. <laughs> that was quick. LaMelo Ball wins MVP of the finals. And is that his first ring, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, first ring, first, year, yeah, he got an MVP last season. Looking good so far for him. And let's advance. Now it's the 2013 draft, I believe. Uh, so 2013 draft had Oladipo, Giannis, but yeah, okay. Draft lottery, who's getting Giannis, basically? The Jazz. Jazz, Blazers, or Bucks? You never know. Bucks might get him again. First overall pick, Utah gets Gobert, just like in real life. Okay. And Giannis goes to Portland instead. Portland was already a good team, so let me just see. Yeah, Portland already had Jabari Smith and Asar Thompson, and they won a ring before. Now with Giannis, if they stay together, this could be a good team, but they got one left on their deal. Best players, still Victor and Mobley, but Luka is starting to climb up there. Remember, Victor's going to retire in, in 10 years, so let's see, league history-wise... Has anyone broke any records? Cade Cunningham dropped 59 in a playoff game so far. And in a season, uh, Jalen Green had 2,600 points, finishing 10th. And in a career, Wemben Yama is already at 11th place with 20,000. So he will most likely be first. We'll see if anyone passes it uh, during this video. All right, so now Scoo Henderson wins his second MVP, averaging 26, 5, and 8. So looking pretty good. Oladipo is rookie of the year over Giannis, which is surprising. I'm not going to lie. Actually, it's not surprising. Giannis doesn't always do the best early on. Jay McDaniel, sixth man. And Aiton is the defensive player of the year, outworking, uh, what's his face? Victor and Chet. So interesting. Victor is not all NBA first team. Neither is Cade. Uh, but Victor's second team, and yeah, Cade's not here. Simmons 91 overall. Interesting, interesting. Knicks and Spurs are the first seed once again. Knicks are looking insane. Kaminga is a 90 overall, bro. I gotta do more research on him in real life, see if, if he's really about that life. Uh, cause everyone has been telling me he is. But yeah, 90 overall. Dyson Daniels getting up there. Got Michael Porter Jr., OG Anubi. Okay, I like that, man. I wanna see LaMelo win 10 rings. He could be the GOAT of this era. You know, why not? What year are we in, by the way? 1995. So, yeah, we have, we've gone, I think we've done 11 seasons so far. And it looks like we have, whoa, hold on. Philly is going to the finals against the Mavericks. Mavericks, of course, have that same team. Uh, no surprise there. And then Philly with, with Scoot. And then Brandon Miller joined them. So, hey, draft class, uh, you know, in the same draft class with Kevin Porter, Mikhail Bridges, 
interesting team they got going on here. Might go to seven. Hold on, 3 one 76ers, 3-2, what I say. I feel like almost every year it's gone to seven, by the way, and every uh, season almost. And we're playing in Philly, so it's not gonna be easy for Vic and Cade to win it, but it looks like they have the advantage here, and they get the job done by 30. Cade had 37, it's, it's great to see him cook up, man. Just need him to do it in real life with the Pistons. Uh, but Victor wins finals MVP. So far in Victor's 11 years, he's won four MVPs and three chips, and Cade has won four chips and two MVPs. So technically, I think he's the best player so far since the start of the video. He's had the most successful career. Now this is the 2012 NBA draft upcoming. We have AD, Bradley Beal, and Damian Lillard as the best players from this draft class. Um, so let's see in the lottery, who gets the first overall pick? It's gonna be the Nets. Nets, Hawks get the second pick, I love this Hawks logo, by the way. It might be one of the coldest logos in NBA history, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, okay. Just an update on the Atlanta Hawks, who they have. They have Trey Young, Jalen Brown, and you know Jackson Hayes. Jalen Brown's not really progressing too much. Trey is decent, you know, about real life overall. If we could add AD, we're cooking. We also have an expansion draft. So 1995, what team is being added? I'm not sure. Oh, the Raptors and the Grizzlies. So the Raptors and the Grizzlies, the way they did it in real life, I guess, is they took players that were on existing teams and they took Jackson Hayes from the Hawks. So that's how they filled out these new teams rosters. I didn't know that. I actually did a video the other day of the disaster draft. It's kind of similar to this. So interesting some players left and it filled out the the toronto raptors and vancouver grizzlies rosters as jackson hayes being the best player now for the nba draft the nets look at the first overall pick and they're picking ad smart choice the hawks select andre drummond that's actually a decent choice i, I lied i would have had, rather had draymond green crazy enough um lillard goes to the grizzlies the new vancouver grizzlies pick them up and beal goes to the raptors so there we go. So Wemby is now 30 years old. He's about eight years left in his career. And where is he ranked in terms of league history? We just checked recently, but he is now a top 10 player of all time. Funny enough, Scoot Henderson passed him by a couple hundred points. So Scoot Henderson could retire as the leading scorer in NBA history, which is would be very interesting because obviously in real life, he's having trouble, you know, starting off kind of rough. Um, I mean, he's straight though. You gotta give him time. Now the bullets look decent. John Morant, a couple high overall players. What other teams uh, are good? Grizzlies now have Darius Baisley, Trey Mann, and Lillard. The Heat have Evan Mobley, and Tatum left him, it looks like. So I'm trying to figure out where J Jason Tatum went to. The Hornets lost um, Jaron Jackson Jr. So that's probably why they haven't gone back to the top without their center, their big guy. The Magic looked decent with Shea Gilgius and Kristaps Porzingis, Jalen Suggs, maybe their team to look out for. But the Mavericks, man, no way they signed Brandon Miller. Come on, Brandon. He's just going to every other team and he's joining this super team. That's not fair. Yeah, that's whack. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Pacers have Tatum, Jaden Ivey, and Jeremy Sockin. Not a bad team over there. Pistons with Nicola progressing pretty fast and Paolo Bancaro. Good front court with uh, Amen Thompson. I like that. And the Sonics just never ended up getting there. Edwards, the 88 overall. He never really took that leap. Timberwolves looking decent with Booker, Simmons, and Mitchell. But... Yeah, let's just simulate this one and see what happens in 1995. And what do you know? Ben Simmons wins MVP in the year 1996. So I guess this era is, is, is treating him well. He doesn't have to shoot threes. He's shooting 13% from three. And luckily, he doesn't need that in this era, to be honest. Averaging 24, 10, and 7. So that's what's up. AD Rookie of the Year with the Nets. Killian Hayes, sixth man. Okay. All right. Shout out to Killian Hayes, my guy. Mobley, Defense Player of the Year. And then Lance Park. He's definitely a bot. There's no way. Yeah, there's no one named Lance Park ever. And then Gabe Rose. Okay. So, all NBA first team, Markel Fultz has made it. That's insane. It's insanity. Real talk. He was all star this year, too. He put up 23. People forgot about Markel Fultz. He's cooking up with the magic. It just sucks what happened to him. Uh, but yeah, very interesting all NBA first team here. Any other surprises? Not that I see. Kobe White, all NBA third team. That is a surprise. He's uh, carrying the Lakers, it looks like. So now we have Dallas in New York again as the first seed. Charlotte and Portland as the second seed. It's the same thing over and over, but Scoot Henderson's out for a minute. Uh, but Philly's not even in the playoffs, so they're straight. Luka, though, he's out for a couple weeks uh, due to left knee tendonitis. And then Aiton's out for the season with the Kings, but Kings are not even in there. All right, who's going to win it now? It's been a good mix of teams that have won it, but can Victor get his fourth ring? 
Cade get his fifth? It looks like it. Hold on. 3-3 against Houston. Houston wins it, actually. That's crazy because Brandon Miller, Cade, and Victor were not enough to, to beat Taylor Hendricks, Joel Embiid, and Jaden Hardy. And the Pacers made it. Remember, Pacers have Tatum. So Tatum, Ivy, and Sockin all cooking up against my Pistons. Can Tatum win his first chip? 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two Pacers, and they win it in six. Jaden Ivey is finals MVP. Monty Williams needs to give him some minutes in real life, but he put up some good numbers. And that now takes us to the 2011 NBA draft, and the Raptors get the first overall pick, Clippers and Cavaliers. How are the, how's uh, Zion doing with the Cavaliers? He's not even with them anymore. <laughs> Zion is actually with the Jazz, interestingly enough. But this 2011 draft had Kawhi, Kyrie, Clay, Jimmy Butler, uh, who else? That's about it. Not a bad draft at all. So will the Raptors get some more help? They get Kawhi Leonard. Aha! Kawhi back in Toronto. Can he win him a ring? Butler to the Clippers. And Kyrie and Zion. Bro, Kyrie ending back up in Cleveland is crazy. That's gonna be a good duo. What I just said. I just said Zion's not in Cleveland. I'm, I'm actually retarded. I'm sorry. Uh, my fault, y'all. My memory is, is, is like, scary, scary bad. 76ers get Klay Thompson, so they just added a shooter. Yeah, Clay or the 76ers looking scary with Scoot Henderson, Mikhail Bridges, and Klay Thompson, and Kevin Porter, and Bam. They have a good team. If they stay healthy, that's that's looking good. But Scoot, Scoot might that injury might have hurt him. I don't know. I'm surprised Evan Mobley's still been a top player all these years, but he's never won anything. And his stats aren't like that impressive, if I'm being honest. But the Raptors now, they have Chet Holmgren on the team, Laurie Markinen, and Kawhi Leonard. Like, this is a long team, pause, a very long team with Bradley Beal. Hey, man, if they stay together, this could be a very good team. But my Pistons, almost at peak form right now. 91 overall, Nikola. I like that. Bro, what? Lonzo Ball wins MVP. Lonzo Ball wins MVP in his seventh year with 16 uh, points and 10 assists. That's so, that's unexpected. And then Harold Wingate out of all rookies wins rookie of the year. Back-to-back -back unexpected things here interesting yeah lonzo over lamello lamello's on nba 13. well uh the nuggets are the first seed in the west maybe that's why he ended up winning it that's interesting let me see this nuggets team real quick was i not paying attention oh my god oh my god they got carl anthony towns jaron jackson jr lonzo ball grady dick clint capella denny of dadja and cam reddish Bro, this is a super team. They're going to win the ring for sure. And Charlotte is the first in the East. We already know who they have, Luka and them. That's crazy. That's, I, don't, I still don't think you should win an MVP, but they beat the, the, the Mavericks. Portland's up next. Sweep them. And it's Nuggets versus Heat. Heat with Evan Mobley, Anthony Black. It's just not enough to, to beat the Nuggets. And hold on, 3-2. Game 7 somehow. Mobley is, is, is putting the team on his back. I like that. So can Mobley win his first ring? He's yet to win a ring being one of the top players in the league. Nuggets have too much depth though. Let's see, fourth quarter. Yeah, Nuggets at home, not beating that. JJJ had 29 points and they win. Lonzo Ball wins finals MVP and he had a perfect season. That one I did not see coming, I will uh, admit, but draft lottery for the 2010 draft, Lakers and Clippers. LA is back on top with draft picks and then Atlanta another top three pick. So this draft class had John Wall, DeMarcus Cousins, Paul George, uh, Gordon Hayward. They had some good players. That's about it though. I think Paul George would be a really good draft pick for the Lakers, but they picked Gordon Hayward. Very odd pick for the first. And Clippers select DeMarcus Cousins. And Paul George, they don't, they selected Eddie Houston before Paul George. He's going to Vancouver. Oh my God. And then John Wall to Toronto. Update on the Raptors with Chet, Lori, Kawhi, and Bradley Beal. Now they have a point guard in John Wall. Real talk, all these guys in their prime. This is an easy chip. <laughs> and then for the Vancouver Grizzlies, how are they doing over there up in Vancouver? I know they got some good players. Mo Bamba, Mitchell, Lillard, and Paul George, and Kemba. Hmm. All these guys have really good handles, so that's kind of dope, but yeah, that's it. Clippers, though, with Marvin Bagley as their best player, he's still doing his thing. And then with DeMarcus Cousins and Jimmy Butler, could be a good team. Cavaliers with Mobley, Brandon Ingram, and Kyrie. Another great team. It's just crazy because some players aren't progressing like I think they will, and others are like I think they won't. So, very odd how, how this video is turning out so far. Victor's still in Dallas with Cade. They're both staying in Dallas. They could really run it up. 
I mean, we just still got some time left. This upcoming draft is the 2009 draft. I believe it's the Curry draft. Yeah, so, hey, one more year before Curry comes into play. Wemby is back as an MVP in 1998 at the age of uh, uh, 33. So that was the same age. Never mind. Um, five MVPs so far. Three chips. He's got to step it up, man. John Wall, Rookie of the Year. Killian Hayes, sixth man. Okay, okay. DeJounte Murray, All-NBA first team with Russell. Interesting, very interesting. Kobe White. All right, all right, all right. Now, now, some real players about to join. Raptors are the first seed in the East in, wait, year three of existence? Yeah, this is their third year as a team. Remember when they drafted Bradley Beal? So it's been three years, and they're already the first seed, which is kind of crazy. Chet, Laurie, Kawhi, Bull Bull's actually doing good at age 29. Bradley Beal's progressing. Irving Cage, never heard of him. John Wall, and then uh, Zeke Njaji. So, I think they could go all the way. I kind of want to see it. I want to see them go all the way and play up against uh, the Mavericks. It looks like LaMelo ends up beating them. And, hold on. Wizards and Suns in the finals. This is new. I've not been paying attention, but the Suns have Jalen Green, DeJounte Murray, and then some bots, I guess. Wizards have John Morant, Jairus Walker, and Shadion Sharp. I was telling you all earlier, this is a team to look out for, and they're not playing. Can they win it all? 2-2, two, 3-2 two, two Wizards. How many Game 7s are we going to have? This is crazy. Getting crazy, but the Suns have the lead here. It's close. Should I hop in? Should I hop in? Chat? Five-point game? No. No. They end up winning by three. Jalen Green. He he did it. He won a ring, but DeJounte Murray wins Finals MVP. And yeah, a lot of things are surprising right now. I'm not going to lie. Interesting timeline we got going on. Now, draft lottery for the Curry draft. The Sonics have the first overall pick. But the Warriors could draft him as well with the second overall pick. Let's see if uh, it ends up happening like in real life. First overall pick, Sonic Select, Steph Curry. So he is now a Seattle Supersonic. And uh, the Warriors get James Harden. That's actually a good draft pick for him. Blake Griffin to the Grizzlies. Wow. And then is that is that it? Yeah, I think that's about it. This Warriors team sucks. I can see why they got the second overall pick. It's horrible. Not even one like person I know on this team besides Gogo, -Go, Goo Goo Gaga, and Chris Dunn. And Ty Ty Washington, and then obviously Bogdan Bogdanovich. I still know Kevin Herter. But besides that, no one else that I know. And then DeAndre Hunter and Steve Adams, but no one else I know on this team. Vancouver Grizzlies, bro. I'm surprised, like, they have all these, bro. Could you imagine Paul George, Blake Griffin, and D Lillard all playing together in their prime with Davion Mitchell and Kemba Walker and Dick? That's just, that's a crazy lineup. But the Sonics have Ant-Man and Curry, Elprin and Sun Gun, who's getting older now. Even Ant's getting older. Can he carry this franchise? I don't know what to expect this season. What I do know is that Scoot and Victor are in a race to be first. They're like, it's a 300 point difference. Unless someone gets injured, I think Scoot is going to end up taking that first place spot. Um, he has 5,000 more points to go. And Scoot is, how old is Scoot Henderson? He's 33. So he could definitely pull it off. Now, AD wins himself an MVP in 1999. We're about to enter uh, a new era. Curry Rookie of the Year, averaging 25 and 9. And Webby's Web still doing his thing. Sorry, I'm hiccuping because I had so many Cheez Its, those Cheddar Jack Cheez Its. Uh, okay. Well, looks like everything's looking good. Pistons, my guy Nicole's a 94 overall. Where are we at, though? Pistons have not made the playoffs. It's so weird why we haven't made the playoffs. I got to see standings. But we're one of the worst teams 31 wins and 51 L's. Rockets are 12 and 70. Goodness. That's just so, it uh, uh, sucks, man, because Pistons have a good team. We're not bad. This is a great team. We should be winning games. The Rockets, though, with Embiid, he's upset. Dennis Smith Jr. is heated. Look at everyone's morale, like, hurting their overalls big time. Don't know what's going on in Houston. They got to figure it out. But Sacramento is first in the West. DeAndre Ayton, RJ Barrett, and Carmelo, or Cole Anthony. Yeah, Carmelo hasn't even joined. We've got like six more years until he joins the league. But New Jersey's first in the East. Things are shifting. And it's Scotty Barnes, Josh Giddy, Garland. This is a great team. Tyrese Maxey didn't really progress like I thought he would. Uh, but this is a great team still. I think it will be Kings and Nets in the finals is my prediction. And so far, so good. So far, so... Hold on. What I said... Oh! Mavericks win it in seven against the Kings. Wemby had 29 point double-double. They got Julius Randle on the team too now. Brandon Miller, Bandit Cade. Derek Lively, come on, man. It's not even fair. So Nets and Mavericks in the finals, AD versus uh, Wemby. Mavs take game one. Is it going to be a sweep? Hold on, 3-2 Mavericks, and they win it in six. Wemby Yama stacking it up now. 15 years, he's won 
four rings and five MVP so far. Now we have the 2008 draft. If you're not familiar, this draft class is pretty stacked. D Rose, Kevin Love, Wes Brooks, Serge Ibaka. They have a pretty good draft. And who will get the first overall pick? It's the Grizzlies once again, man. Grizzlies keep getting great picks. I'm trying to figure out why. Are their players not progressing? Is somehow Paul George, Blake Griffin, and Lillard just not progressing at all? Lillard is stuck at 81. I mean, who do you draft if you're the Grizzlies? I'm trying to think. I wouldn't. I don't even know. Kevin Love? No. They're going to select Derrick Rose. They, they already have enough guards. We already have Kemba Walker and Lillard. And then uh, Kevin Love goes to the Bulls. Westbrook to the Hawks. Okay. And that's about it. Now, as we enter the year of 2000, the best player in the league now is a young Anthony Davis at 23 years old. You can see he's the best player. Wemby is still holding his own. And then Luka, Mobley, Kawhi quickly progressed to be a top five player. Like, very quickly. He only played three years. And these averages are nothing crazy, but his overall is, is, is crazy. Everyone else, Giannis progressed faster than normal. Obviously, it took him a little bit longer to get to this level in real life. Uh, everything checks out so far. I'm not going to lie. The Hawks is a team I've been paying attention to with Trey, Andre Drummond, Russell Westbrook, Drew Holiday. They just haven't really done anything, though. Jordan Poole's been horrible. Look, age 31, he's done nothing. He had, like, two good seasons, and he just fell off. AD winning back-to-back -back MVPs. I'm curious to see if he'll end up surpassing uh, Victor Mbanyama. You know, in real life, his potential was supposed to be, like, the face of the league, and then he just kept getting injured. You know, he stubbed his toe a bunch of times and a bunch of other injuries that... The thing is, I can't even talk trash for real because I'm not a seven footer that's gone through these injuries. So what do I know, right? I'm just from an outsider perspective, man. It just sucks seeing what's happened to him. He has so much more potential, even though he's still obviously really good, but Rose wins rookie of the year. Bobo is 69 of the year and Kawhi defensive player. Yes, sir. I like that out of him. Jeff Teague most improved. He's hilarious. We really have bots going all NBA third team. Harold Wingate was not supposed to be here, man. Ah, whatever. Now, Utah is the first seed in the West, and Utah, I believe, has, uh, you know, the big guy, Zion. Yeah, about the time he progressed, he's, in the, in, you know, top seed. This this team sucks, though. I mean, it's decent 80 overall players, but still. I am kind of curious who led the league, though. Is it Zion? Yeah, 20, no, who led the league in points? Luka with 29, 8, and 7, and then Kyrie right behind him with 28 and 6, you know, leading that Cavs team. Curry in his second season? Yeah, second season, already a top three score. And if you if you look at how many threes, he only attempts seven threes a game. You know, obviously, if we're in the modern era, he'd be attempting a lot more, uh, like at least 12. So is he even making the most? Yeah, he's number one, tied with Booker. But you could tell, like, these guys do not take that many threes or make that many threes per game. Only two is, is, is really mid, to be honest. Now, remember, the worst team, hold on, let me see what the worst team was, because this upcoming draft is the Kevin Durant draft. So whoever is the worst. Wizards. He's from uh, Washington, so this might actually work out. Is Zion going to get his first ring up against the Kings? And will it happen? Yes, sir. He's going to the finals against the Bucks. Bucks have Marvin Bagley and Devin Booker. So Booker, Booker versus Zion. And it looks like it's going to be... Wait a minute. Yeah. D'Angelo Russell is the finals MVP, though. So he's panned out to his full potential like he should have in real life. He's still solid, but you know. You know, he's like a top five pick, a top three pick. And Zion wins his first ring, even though he only dropped nine points, but still. Now we got some players retiring. We had Brandon Miller calling it a career alongside uh, Derek Whitehead, Nick Smith Jr., Benedict Mathurin. They played 16 years. Amen Thompson retired. Max Christie retired. So now who's going to get Kevin Durant in this draft? The Bucks via Orlando. So the Bucks not only went to the finals and have a very good team, but when they traded earlier, they ended up getting a pick earlier like years before if they're smart they're gonna select kevin durant who else is available greg odin mike conley and jakeem noah they better draft kevin durant bro first overall pick yes sir so he is now in milwaukee greg odin in indiana and then the spurs get mike conley Wizards get Jeff Green. So Bucks are now the team to look out for with they already have a good team and Kevin Durant now. Just an update on the race between Scoot and Victor. Uh, 29,000 points. There's a 50 point difference between them. And sometime this season, they're going to break it. The question is who's going to get first. And then Jalen Green is right behind him as well with 26,000. Paolo as well. Let's see if uh, they end up getting there. I think, I think Scoot, I mean, Scoot, look, he is 35 years old. This would be the season to do it. He's kind of declined. Meanwhile, Victor's still in 94. John Wall won MVP, and the surprising part, it only took him four years, and for a guard, that's impressive. Usually, like, a big guy will win it quicker, but John Wall winning MVP in four years with the expansion Raptors team. Durant wins Rookie of the Year. 
Jaron Jackson, defensive player, Westbrook most improved. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And we got Giannis and Victor, all NBA first team with John Morant, who's getting older. Yeah, age 32. So Raptors are the first seed now. And uh, let's just see their team again. Because I remember they had a lot of good players. Yeah, Kawhi, Bradley Beal, Lori Markkinen. And John Wall wins MVP with as an 88 overall. You know, because you do 86 plus 2. It's very impressive, that low of overall winning MVP. I'm also curious how the Grizzlies are doing. Are they still not, like, progressing? Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at them now. 91 overall Griffin, 90 Paul George, or, yeah, 88 D. Rose. This team should be the first. Grizzlies are the first in the West. So can it be the expansion teams that face each other in the finals? I don't know. Bucks, Raptors, remember they got Kevin Durant now? And they beat him. Okay, we have it. Raptors, I didn't mean to simulate that quick. It went to a game seven too, my fault. But the Raptors win it in seven and Kawhi wins finals MVP. Let's just see. It was a one point victory in game seven. That game must've been crazy. Oh my God. But look at how everyone cooked up. We had Jakeem Noah on the bench. That's how good this team is. But Kemba and Blake Griffin did their thing. Yeah, this is a very good matchup. They both have the best logos in NBA history, in my opinion. These are the, the especially the Grizzlies. Might be the best logo of all time. So let's see if they can run it back. I actually want to see that happen. Okay, yeah, so Scoot retires now. Look, Victor didn't retire. Scoot retires. But remember, they had a record. Oh, no. Scoot didn't break it. Scoot did not break it, man. He retires third, and he's not going to play one more to break Wilt's record. Therefore, Victor will most likely break it next season. That's so tough. Anyone else retire? Uh, not really, no. Now we have the 2006 draft, I believe. This draft class was trash, man. Rudy Gay, Adam Morrison, Andre Bargnani, he was the first overall pick. Trash draft class, does not matter. But the Grizzlies get the first overall pick anyways. So... <laughs> The champion, or not, not the champions, but the second best team in the league gets the first overall pick in the worst draft. If I'm them, I would rather trade it, but here we are. They get Brandon Roy. That's a great pick. If he stays healthy, that's a great pick. Hold on now. AD winning another MVP. He might actually surpass Victor Wembanyama. That's his third MVP. Now he needs to win some rings, but he might surpass him. Draft class was so trash that Rajon Rondo is rookie of the year, so yeah, that's something right there. Giannis defensive player and DeAndre Jordan most improved. Okay, James Harden is becoming a superstar player now. All right. Well, Bucks and Grizzlies are the first seeds of their respective conferences. No surprise there. Bucks have Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Marvin Bagley. Like, this is a crazy team. And Corey Christie, who's a bot, but they got a good team. James Harden led the league in points per game with 26 in his, what, second year? No, his fourth year, my fault. But, like, only 26 is kind of low. Again, he's probably not shooting many threes. Yeah, only making two threes a game. Jamal Murray making more threes than Curry. That's how you know the simulation is weird. But uh, also, someone broke a record. Victor Wembanyama is officially the all-time leading scorer with 32,000 points. So he is number one. He took him how, how long? 18 years pro. 18 years pro, starting all the way from 1984. And he finally did it. So this is probably going to be one of his last seasons. But yeah, he's been on the, the Mavericks with Cade Cunningham this entire time. Uh, Kate has stayed solid to Dallas this entire time in 16 years. But the question is, who will end up winning this ring? Is it going to be the Raptors? Is it going to be the Grizzlies? We have an interesting matchup here. Hold on, hold on. God dang. God dang. Grizzlies and Hornets. So Blake Griffin, Derrick Rose, Paul George, Kemba, Mo Bamba's at 87, Otto Porter's at 85, bro. The list keeps going on and on and on. And that's before Brandon Roy even progresses or this good. Up against Luka, Evan Mobley joins the team, Malik Monk, and just a bunch of mid, below mid. So really, the Grizzlies should sweep them. Hold on, 3-2? Yeah, they win in six. Blake Griffin is finals MVP. They got a dream team. This is the best team in the league now. Now we have the 2005 draft with Chris Paul, Darren Williams, and that's it. Really just a Chris Paul draft, so... The Wizards had the first overall pick. They've been a pretty trash team. They've been getting the first overall pick a lot. They got D. Fox, LaMarcus Aldridge, and Jeff Green. Yeah, they don't know how to draft. The least they could do is get Kurt, or Chris Paul. And that's what they do. 
All right, they finally got a hit on a draft pick. Darren Williams goes to the Kings, and the rest does not matter. We're only a couple years away from LeBron joining the league, and that's when things get interesting when LeBron joins the league, and then 20 years later, Jordan will join the league. We still got a long ways to go. So now here are the best players, Davis, Luka, and surprisingly, DeMarcus Cousins is end up being a top three player in the league. Uh, no surprise with, you know, Kawhi being up there. And Cade Cunningham still solid. Victor is down to a 92 overall. Whole lot of 90 overall players. There's a lot of great talent in this league, which is great to see. Like, yeah, there's a lot of good players in this league. Everyone is panning out to their potential, it looks like, besides a couple. The Bucks, of course, have the best odds, in my opinion, outside of the uh, Grizzlies to win the whole thing. Bulls look pretty bad. Uh, yeah, Tyrese Halliburton, he just didn't do much during his career. Cavaliers, they don't have enough talent. Even the Clippers don't have enough talent, to be honest. It's just Cousins. MVP number four for AD, Chris Paul, Rookie of the Year, Mark Hell's sixth man. All right, I'm, I'm starting to get bored looking at this stuff. It's the same thing over and over. Oh no, Curry tore his left Achilles. That's going to impact him for sure. And uh, he's out for the season. So again, Grizzlies are the first seed. I really want to see the Grizzlies win it every single season. Who led the league in scoring this time around, man? Is it DeMarcus Cousins? Yeah, DeMarcus. Oh no, James Harden. Okay, that makes sense. He should be leading it every year. It's, he has the whole Warriors to himself. Legit. Actually, no, DeJounte Murray is a scorer. But the rest of the team is surprisingly good. A lot of mid-80 overall players... They're the second seed in the West, so maybe they can make a run for it, but the Grizzlies roster is just too deep, I think. They should be like the next dynasty. Yeah, yeah. They Whoa! Utah's up 3-0 on them. Raptors in the finals. This Jazz team with Zion and D'Angelo Russell, they're a bit older. They got Dick and then Rudy Gobert. Yeah, man, they're doing their thing. They might sweep them. 3-1, hold on. Comeback season, wow! It's scripted. They won four games in a row. They blew a 3-0 lead. And it's the Grizzlies and Raptors once again. Grizzlies, man. Derrick Rose, Griffin, Paul George. Oh, my God. And then Raptors, we already know they got Kawhi in them. Did they get better? How much better did they get? Yeah, John Wall's 92. Marketing's out, but they have enough firepower. Let's see. Moment of truth. 3-1 Raptors. Hold on. 3-2. We're going to a game seven. I'm definitely going to hop in this game if it's close in the end. Grizzlies starting off strong. Hey, they moved to Memphis. They were first in Vancouver, then they moved. And Memphis is going to win a ring. I think it's their second one. Or first. I think it's their first. Blake Griffin, let me see. It's their second. It's their second chip. They actually went back to back. That's correct. Yeah, they went back to back. So they are looking on fire. Grady Dick retires. Jalen Green retires. So does Chet. Chet, he only had one chip and 10 All-Stars. But uh, did Jalen Green end up getting... What, yeah, he got. He finished third. So just under a wilt. No one's passed victory yet. I don't think anyone here has a chance because they're all older. Yeah, I don't see anyone on this list that could pass victory so far. But now we have the 0-4 draft, of course, with uh, Dwight Howard and them. So the Celtics and Clippers have the first couple picks. Yeah, Dwight Howard, and I think that's it. The Boston Celtics select Dwight Howard. First overall pick, and then, yeah, Bots, Mike Hunt. Ha! Wow! Mike Hunt. Mike Hunt. That's like a... That's like when I was in middle school, I made that joke. No way the NBA 2K bot is named that. That's extremely inappropriate, 2K. Grow up. Mike Hunt drafted third. That's funny. You think you're funny, 2K? What, what's sick dev? This childish dev in the, in, in the office making that joke. My question is, how are the Grizzlies affording these guys, man? They just signed these guys on a four-year deal, three-year deal. Eventually, they're going to run out of money, and someone's going to want more. But yeah, this team is looking disgusting if they stay together. My guess is... Kemba's gonna leave after this season. Derrick Rose is now the second best player in the league, so uh, he's rising up pretty quickly. And let's see how this season pans out. Remember, the worst team is most likely getting LeBron James, so important year. Kevin Durant wins his first MVP in year number four. Good for him. J.R. Smith is rookie of the year over Dwight Howard is very surprising, but yeah, he ever 17. Uh, and then Lillard is sixth man of the year on that stack roster. It's crazy that Lillard is a sixth man of the year. I guess he's only eighth year overall. And then uh, Brandon Roy, most approved player. So this Grizzlies roster is looking disgusting. Derrick Rose and uh, Blake Griffin, obviously. And then they have this... Oh, no, no, no. No, Lillard is on the, another team. No, wait. Yeah, yeah, he's on the Raptors, I think. Right? Ah, my memory is horrible. You guys already know this, though. Roy's 88 overall. Guys, this is getting crazy. Brandon Roy's 88 on an already stacked roster. Okay. So who got the worst record? Who's going to be in the LeBron sweepstakes? Indiana Pacers, Denver Nuggets, and the Sonics. If LeBron goes to Indiana, he's not going to have a good time. So let's see. Can the Grizzlies 3 -peat? My guess is they will. They'll probably sweep their way there. Yup. 
Light work, they win it in six. Light work, man. Unless Derrick Rose gets injured, they're probably going to win it every year moving forward. Victor finally retires, man. He retires in the year of 2004. So uh, right before LeBron joins the league and he passes off the torch. In his 20-year career, four chips, five MVPs, and he broke the scoring record. As you can see right here, 35,000 is the new record. Cade Cunningham second with 31,000. So teammates are the top two scores of all time. I think uh, this will be broken though, sometime in the video. Paolo Bancaro retired in uh, New York. Jaden Ivey retires, Scotty Barnes. And is that it? Tyrese Maxey, Miles Bridges. That's about it. Moment of truth. First overall pick is the Nuggets, Pistons, Pacers. Where is LeBron gonna end up? Let's find out. He should be going to the Nuggets. But hold on, we have an expansion draft. What new team is being added to the league? So check it, we can protect players before this expansion draft so every team can protect uh, as many, I think it's like a few players. Yeah, wait, let me see. They can protect all but three players. Okay, so now let's see. What was the last team added to the league? Charlotte Bobcats, obviously, yeah. So their best player is gonna be Wendell Carter so far. Hold on, okay, okay, so this team looking pretty trash yeah all right now it's time for the real nba draft the Denver nuggets select lebron james no surprise there pistons select Dwayne wade over carmelo i guess carmelo goes to the pacers bobcats get chris bosh okay so nuggets now are the favorite to win it every year now it looks like kemba walker did re-sign in the grizzlies so they're keeping this team together Blake Griffin has one year left. He'll probably be the person that leaves because no way they can afford everything. But for the Nuggets, they already had Lonzo Ball, but he is 33 years old. And then LeBron James and everyone else is straight trash. So LeBron's got to carry this franchise. Meanwhile, my Pistons, Nikola's 92 overall with Rubio, Dwayne Wade. I don't think we have enough. Best player in the league is still AD at age 28. And then uh, Durant is the third best player and everything's looking good. So now that the, that the torch is passed to LeBron, can he cross 35,000 points? I think he will. ID Rose winning, I think it's the second MVP at this point. 23 and 10 with the Grizzlies. I actually do not like this Grizzlies logo, bro. I don't know why they switched to it. Like the NBA logos lost its personality lately. Uh, LeBron's rookie of the year, putting up good numbers, of course. Okay, so anything that is surprising here, are all these players still in the NBA? Yeah, everyone's still in the NBA outside of the Marcus Cousins. Okay, okay, okay. Well, it's the Bucks and Grizzlies. This will be... Ah, oh, Kemba's out for a few weeks. Derrick Rose, bruised left shoulder. Good thing it's nothing lower body related. Yo, how is James Harden doing? It kind of sucks, man. Some people just get put on trash teams. But with the Warriors, him and Aaron Gordon, I mean, Harden's only 90 overall. Timberwolves look solid. Ben Simmons, Colin Sexton, Mark Gasol, JJ Reddick, Mitchell Robinson. They have a lot of good players on this team. And most teams though, oh, Nick Young's at 87 overall. Okay, he's having a pretty good career so far. But yeah, Raptors, again, they're the sixty this time around though. I wanna see a new team. I wanna see if anyone can give the Grizzlies or Bucks a challenge. Utah was in the mix recently. Can they win it here? No, Grizzlies and Bucks again. And you know what's gonna happen, right? Grizzlies are gonna sweep them. 4-0, Derrick Rose cooking up, man. It's just how it goes. Now we have the 2002 NBA draft with Yao Ming headlining it. The Bobcats get the first overall pick. So will the Bobcats select Yao Ming? Send it from China to Charlotte. Let's see, moment of truth. First overall pick is Amari Stoudemire. Okay, out of high school, not bad. And Yao goes to Cleveland. <laughs> that is not who, uh, I mean, I guess I guess it could work, right? Is Kyrie still in Cleveland? That's, that's what matters. The answer to that question is no. It's Andrea Bargnani, Clay Thompson, and Yao Ming. Trash, trash, trash. Bulls, nah. Where did Kyrie end up going? Look, Bobcats got Kyle Lowry, who's surprisingly 88 overall really quickly. Chris Bosh, Mari Stoudemire, you never know. This could be a good team. Greg Oden never panned out, just like in real life, unfortunately. But, uh... Where's Kyrie at, man? Oh, he's injured. He's with the Celtics, though, but he's injured for a couple months with a leg fracture. Celtics looking like what? Dwight Howard and him? Eh, could work. You never know. Man, Nets have not won a ring. Yeah, they have not won a ring yet, so no matter what, Davis is probably not going to be at Wemby's level because he's not winning rings. Kawhi's been kind of quiet. Only one ring. Yeah, it's been nine years for him. Chris Paul jumps up as a top five player pretty quickly. Neither Yao Ming or Amari Stoudemire was a rookie of the year. It was a, a bot, DJ Chamber, Chambers. And uh, yeah, so Steph Curry, Mike Conley's All-NBA first team. That's a surprise. You know, I didn't think he'd be All-NBA first team. Bargnani's All-NBA first team. Okay, okay, okay. Well, once again, it's just a repeat, man. This stuff is on repeat. Kemba Walker, though, he's out with broken ribs for a couple weeks. But hey, we'll just keep simulating. 
Grizzlies should win this one as well. Let's see. Grizzlies and Bucks again? Yes? Yes? No? Yes? Grizzlies and Wizards, they win it again. Bro, Derrick Rose has not won five chips. Five in a row, granted. Like, he's now actually the GOAT. He's literally the greatest of all time. Or he's the best uh, best winner. In seven years, winning five rings is unheard of. LaMelo Ball retires, man. After 19 seasons, he retires. So does Zion Williamson. Uh, that's tough to see. But LaMelo only had one MVP and one chip. I'm kind of curious to see if any uh, one came close to the scoring record. Well, Zion finished at third. So it goes Victor, Cade, Zion, and John Morant. Ja still playing, but he has 31,000 points. LaMelo finished in sixth. So they put up they put up good numbers, man. Wilt's getting pushed down a little bit. Still a lot more uh, work to do. It's now the 2001 NBA draft, which might be one of the worst ones ever. They just got Gilbert Arenas and Paul Gasol, but besides that, it's pretty mid. Below mid, actually. It's one of the worst. Draft lottery, Hornets and Hawks. What happened to the Hornets? Hornets still have good players. They're a little bit older. And the Hawks... They have Westbrook, Trey's horrible, Wiggins not doing good. Damn, everyone's pissed in Atlanta. I don't think Gilbert's a good fit for either one of those teams. The Hornets select Gilbert Arenas, though, and the Hawks select Paul Gasol, and that's it. All right, so this season, Chris Paul wins MVP. Is he the shortest MVP of all time at six feet tall? I think he might be the shortest MVP of all time, at least in 2K. I don't think he's ever won it in real life. But three All-Stars in his fifth year doing his thing. Can the Wizards actually make a run for it? I don't know. No, I doubt it, actually. Uh, yeah, so Chris Paul, Curry, LeBron, Durant, and DeMarcus Cousins. Usually it would be Dwight Howard instead, but Dwight is third team. Nikola is second team. Okay. So Wizards are the first in the East. That is surprising. Raptors fall to the sixth. Who do the Wizards have? I was not paying attention about this team. I guess they have depth. Chris Paul, LaMarcus, Luol Deng is not that crazy of a team at all. So that's very interesting that uh, they're this good. First, what was the record like looking like? It couldn't have been that crazy. Um, 56 wins. That's pretty impressive. Worst team is the Bulls and Magic. That's tough because this draft class sucks. The 2000 draft class with Kenny Martin, probably the worst in NBA history. Real talk. Can Derrick Rose make it six rings in eight years? This would be a historic feat and something never done before in 2K history. Hold on. 3-2. And we have every match. Grizzlies and Raptors. Now, Raptors are not the same team. They just have Kawhi, John Wall, and Bradley Beal. They lost some pieces that they had before. Meanwhile, Grizzlies have their guys. D. Rose, Griffin, George have not left. Brandon Roy is outraged, though. I mean, how, what's the lineup looking like? D. Rose, Roy, Paul George. They have all their firepower starting. And then Kemba off the bench at sixth man. In my opinion, probably going to be a sweep here. Yeah, 4-1, Grizzlies win it. Derrick Rose, man. Hold on now. Eight years, he's won six rings. This is, uh, he might be the, the best player of this video so far. And he's at 12,000 points. So let's say he plays 20 years. I don't think he'll end up breaking the record, but he'll definitely finish off with the most rings. Evan Mobley retires in Detroit. You know, he was once upon a time the best player in the league. John Morant retires. I think John Morant was, he might've retired breaking the record. No, 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 he was fourth though. He was fourth. Yeah, Cade Cunningham has the record. It's kind of crazy. Cade Cunningham, he retired with, is he still in the league? Hold on. Yo, he's still in the league. At age 40, he dislocated his left padilla. But yeah, age 40, he's going to retire. But he had the most points in NBA history. So far, he's the guy to beat. And does he retire? No. He's going to run it back one more year. It's kind of crazy. And the draft lottery looks like this. The Hawks, who have the most lottery picks, their top three picks in the video, like 12, it seems like. They had the first overall pick. Go ahead and have fun with Kenyon Martin. Respect to Kenyon Martin, man, but that is just, it's just a weak draft class. We get Jamal Crawford instead. Kenyon goes to Houston where he did end up playing at, but it just doesn't matter anymore. They somehow still kept these guys, man. They somehow still kept all five of these people, bro. Their luxury tax has to be insane. Uh, but yeah, if, if, if D-Rose gets injured or Griffin gets injured, they might be cooked. Uh, however, best player in the league currently is Durant at a 95 overall. LeBron James is a 94 overall. He's entering his fourth season. Last year, he put up MVP-type numbers, but yeah, usual suspects. Chris Paul, back-to-back -back MVPs, okay. Remember, he wasn't a 99 overall club back in, like, what, 2K7, I think, or 2K8. He was a 99 overall player. The draft class was so trash that a, a bot was Rookie of the Year and another bot, Sixth Man of the Year, Giannis Defensive Player in San Antonio. All righty. All right, LeBron, All-NBA first team. He's not, he's not winning MVPs, though. But he's with the Nuggets, and the Nuggets are not in the playoffs. Odd. So the Pacers are the first seed in the East. Let's see what this Pacers team is looking like. 
Carmelo and Iguodala and Charlie Villanueva. Ah, that's decent. Raptors are the second seed. I'm predicting another repeat. <laughs> Bro, if Derrick Rose retires with 10 rings, that would be insane. Like, actually crazy. But no, the Suns come out of nowhere and Devin Harris wins finals MVP. Wait a minute. Suns have Devin Harris as their best player in a team of bots. Wow, that's actually crazy that this team went all the way. That's embarrassing. A healthy Grizzlies lost to them. That's really embarrassing. And Cade Cunningham finally retires. Him, Anthony Edwards retires in Minnesota. Josh Giddy retires. Uh, Trey Young, DeAndre Ayton, even Tatum, bro. Tatum had a horrible career. Like, he really didn't do anything. What did he do? Tatum, actually, he got a, he got a ring in 10 All-Stars. Not horrible, but I expected more out of him. Ant-Man, I expected a lot from him, man. He let me down. Only five All-Stars. Cade with five rings and two MVPs. And he also is the all-time leading scorer. 36,000 points is the new record to beat. I'm surprised that Kate is the one that said it, but here we are. And now we're in the 1999 NBA draft. The Jazz had the first overall pick. So if you're not familiar, we have Baron Davis, Manu, Steve Francis, Rip Hamilton. Not a crazy good draft class, but here we go. Utah Jazz selects Steve Francis. Rockets get Baron Davis. Quinn McGee the Wolves. And oh, we got a trade. Rip Hamilton the Hornets. Yeah, nothing crazy. I'm waiting for the 96 draft. The 96 draft is where it's going to get interesting. Carmelo wins his first MVP before LeBron, bro. What's going on with LeBron? Usually 2K uh, meat rides him, but for some reason, they're not this time around. Who's Brandon Claxton? I have a feeling he's one of those people that's probably a real person. I feel like he's a real person. Yeah, he's definitely a real person. LeBron's defensive player of the year, though. So he's doing his thing. And uh, what did he average this season? He averaged 26. So he is on pace to break Wemby or K Cunningham's record. If you average 26 for 20 years, you're going to break it for sure um, to get to 40,000. So is Charlotte Bobcats is the first seed in the East, crazy enough. Mario Stoudemire and Kyle Lowry, 90 overall twins with uh, Stacey Jones. And then Chris Bosh is up to an 86, nothing too crazy out of him. And if you look at the best player, Giannis, how's Giannis doing? Damn, he's cooking up. 15 years, he's gotten 12 All-Stars. Six DPOIs, but no rings. All right, Bobcats and Grizzlies is what I expect. Grizzlies, so far in this video, have been the best team by far. The best franchise, Dynasty, and they are advancing. Can they beat the Suns? Yes, they beat the Suns this time. And it's the Raptors and Grizzlies for like the fourth or fifth time. Grizzlies end up losing in seven. I didn't see that coming. Yo, Raptors are winning, bro. John Wall, finals MVP. Is that his first ring? That's his second ring. An eight-year gap but he won his second ring. I thought Grizz were about to win another one. Tough scene, man. Derrick Rose dropped 41, but it wasn't enough for Kawhi, Beal, and Wall. Now, Luka retires in Orlando. De'Aaron Fox retires. Jalen Brown was so quiet, he did nothing. Just the first team all defensive player. It was horrible. And now this next draft is the 1998 draft with Vince Carter, Dirk, and Paul Pierce. So, actually pretty solid draft. The Nets get the first overall pick. What happened to AD? What happened to AD? Let me check that team real quick. He's a 92 overall, and he won four MVPs, didn't win any rings. He's been kind of quiet. He's put on good numbers, actually, but yeah, they get the first overall pick now. The Hornets get the second overall pick, and then Heat. Heat been struggling. I feel like Dirk would be the right pick to go first, I think, right? The Nets select Vince Carter. Okay, so uh, Vince Carter back in New Jersey. Hornets select Antoine Jameson over Dirk is crazy. Yo, the Heat choosing Mike Bibby over Dirk is crazy. Paul Pierce going to the Rockets. What's good, y'all? Dirk is going to the Bulls. Okay. The Bulls only had J.R. Smith, so I guess him and Dirk could do something maybe. We had Kevin Love before. They did nothing. This team is, is pretty bad. There we go. LeBron wins his first MVP, 28-10-7. Dirk Nowitzki is Rookie of the Year. Raymond Felton, bowling balls, what I used to call him back in the day. He was always bigger, and I just saw a clip recently, bro. He's looking huge. Uh, but yeah, he's a cool guy. I actually met him outside the Palace of Auburn Hills. When I was like five. I, he was like, he was like walking to his car. It was crazy. I was like, oh, it's Raymond Felton. You know, it's just a random memory that I have. Anyway, we got LeBron, Curry, Wade, my Pistons guy, all NBA first team. Pistons are the sixth seed. We are just, I hate this logo. This Pistons logo reminds me of so much of like, like just bad times, just the team being garbage. But we basically have like a repeat of what happened last year. Nuggets to the third seed though. I feel like it's going to be deja vu over and over. But Blake Griffin's out for the season. Dislocated right padilla. So that's a huge loss. And that might actually eliminate him and give LeBron or Golden State a chance to win. Let's see. Round two. And no. Memphis and Golden State still at it. Indiana and New York. Wait a minute. Okay. We have a game seven between Memphis and Golden State. 
Golden State has who? James Harden has stayed with them the entire time, but he's been putting up good numbers, I guess, decent numbers. Just the team's kind of trash. And whoever wins plays the Knicks, and the Knicks have who? Jakeem Noah is their best player. That's crazy. This is insane. This is their team. Unreal. So, uh, yeah, the Warriors win it. So, James Harden, congratulations. What? what? Oh, my God, look. Harden was the finals MVP, even though the Knicks won. The Knicks had Quentin Richardson, uh, Jakeem, Andrew Wiggins, who is 36 years old, a washed Andrew Wiggins, Brooke Lopez, Darren Collison. This might be the craziest championship out of all of them. Yeah, definitely the craziest one. Lonzo retires, Ben Simmons retires. Yeah, that's a wrap for them. Jimmy Butler did nothing throughout his career, by the way. Absolutely nothing. So now we have the 1997 draft, the Tim Duncan draft, and the Kings, Blazers, and Bulls. Bulls, man, you just had Dirk. Who are they going to get next? I mean, look, it's Tim Duncan, Chauncey Billups, Tracy McGrady would be actually my first overall pick if I could choose. If the Bulls are smart, they're going to pick T-Mac. The Kings with the first pick, they listened to me. They actually chose him instead with the first pick. Very good choice. Blazers get Tim Duncan, and Keith Van Horn goes to the Bulls. Okay, yeah, they're cooked. This Orlando Magic team looks kind of promising. Mark Gasol, Joe Johnson, Abat, Jameer Nelson. It's not the worst ever. You know, Joe Johnson, he's a beast 89 overall. We have the Mavericks not looking too good. Nets with uh, Anthony Davis, who's 87 overall. He's declined. Vince Carter, yeah, not even Brandon Ingram. Nuggets with LeBron and Carl Anthony Towns at 37 years old, still 90 overall. He comes to the team to play with LeBron. And then Manu's on the team. So they could do some damage. I could definitely see them doing damage, right? Because did he join this year? Yeah, he just joined this year. It's his first year in Denver. Uh, Pacers looking good. Pistons with Dwayne Wade, Shane, ba Shane Battier. Eh. Raptors are falling off, so they're out the mix now. John Wall and Kawhi, they're not the same. And the Spurs with Giannis and Mike Conley, they look somewhat promising, I think. Suns, no. Thunder, no. Yeah. And, I mean, the Blazers have Tony Parker, a uh, old Jokic, and Tim Duncan. That could work. But the Wizards look clean, man. Chris Paul, Luel Dang, Lamarcus is a high overalls. It's really up for, for grabs. Anyone can win it now. I don't think the Grizzlies are that much of a, of a firepower anymore. Look, their, their overalls are going down. It's just Derrick Rose and Blake Griffin. LeBron James wins MVP once again. Tim Duncan, Rookie of the Year with the Baldy, 17 and 11. Uh, Chris Bosh, Sixth Man of the Year. And LeBron, Defensive Player of the Year, most improved is Manu with 23. Hold on. Nuggets had to be first seed, right? Nuggets are the second seed. Warriors are the first seed. Orlando's the first seed. What's going on, bro? What'd I miss? Warriors got James Harden, Hidu Chukalu. I don't know how they're the first seed. Then the Magic have Mark Gasol and Joe Johnson. The two guys I was talking about are injured, though. I don't know how this is even happening. My guess is LeBron is going to win it. The Grizzlies aren't even in the playoffs. They fell off the face of the earth. And nah, the Rockets beat them. Rockets win the whole thing with Baron Davis, the sec third-year player. Third-year player ends up winning finals MVP. For the Rockets. They have Paul Pierce as well and uh, Gordon Hayward, Andrea Bargnani. They got a team. They got a squad. All right. Well, now we have the infamous 1996 draft upcoming. Booker retires. Ingram retires. These guys retire ringless and we lost Cat, which sucks for LeBron because he's still 90 overall, but he retired. So draft lottery. Moment of truth. The Suns get the first pick. Knicks, Nets, Cavs, Wolves. Where's Kobe going to land? Where's Allen Iverson going to land? A bunch of questions we got we to gotta find out. Sun select Allen Iverson first, and then Ray Allen to the Knicks, Sharif to the Nets. Yo, Kobe to the Cavs. What's going on? That's a horrible... Why did he get drafted so low? Nash goes to the Suns. Peja goes to the... Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. So the Suns got Steve Nash and Allen Iverson, two smaller guards, and Kobe didn't go to New York or, or New Jersey. He went to Cleveland. That's so stupid. All right, so this season now, LeBron James is still the best player at age 25. Durant is 30 years old at this point. D-Rose is 32, and he's kind of slowed down, man. He started off so good. The Grizzlies started off so good, and then after 07, it kind of fell off, and now we're in 2011. So looking at, uh, you know, the best centers in the game, right now, Yao Ming with the Cavaliers. What's his uh, stats looking like so far? About 20 points and 11 rebounds. Very solid. Dwight never became higher than a 90 overall. Bryani became good, 88 overall. Gasol brothers doing their thing. Elton Brand's 88, power forward wise. Uh, Tyrus Thomas is 88. I'm not too familiar with his game. I know he played in the league. He's a real person, guys, obviously. But like, I don't know where he played in real life. On the Bulls at one point, but that's about it. Small forward wise, Shane Bettier is actually one of the top small forwards. Didn't see that coming. 
Shooting guard wise, you know, Joe Johnson, uh, Jason Richardson, and then point guard wise, Baron Davis, he's an NBA champion. So this season, I want to see LeBron win his first ring. Carmelo wins MVP number three, averaging 31 points. And that might be the highest scoring MVP we've had in this entire video. And we're in the year of 2012. So it's been almost uh, 30 years of this, which is crazy. Allen Iverson, rookie of the year. And LeBron, defensive player once again. Here we go, man. Gilbert Arenas, this all NBA first team with the Hornets. He's only, okay, he's in his sixth season. Yao Ming, all NBA first team. Hiru Cherkaloo, Thomas Hammonds. Got bots in here now too. Lamar Odom's All-NBA third team. It's a good mix. It's a good combination, a good variety. And the Warriors are the first in the West. Which makes sense. Harden and Trickaloo are the best players on this team. They got Jay Williams as well. He didn't get into that motorcycle crash. So, you know, they're still playing. Okay. Well, uh, I actually also want to see who had the best record. Okay, 59-23. I want to see if anyone gets like an 82-0 record or, you know, anything close to that. Probably not, though. The second highest scoring player was LeBron. And what's crazy is Hiru Cherkalu was the third highest scoring player with 28, 8, and 6. I did not see that coming. And he's in year number five. So he's scoring more than his teammate James Harden. And James Harden is a ball hog scorer. Not a ball hog, but he's, he's a pure scorer. So the fact that this is happening is very interesting. Can the Warriors get their first ring? They're up against LeBron and the Nuggets. And they beat him. Wait a minute. Hold on now. They are going to the finals against the Magic. The Magic have Marc Gasol, Sean Marion, and Joe Johnson. So yeah, it was that little duo with Jameer Nelson. And I guess Sean Marion's 85. I think Warriors have it with Turkaloo. 3-1, boom. He wins finals MVP. He averaged 32 points. Hold on now. How he do better than James Harden? So Jay Williams had 42. Okay, and then in game two, Harden had 34. Uh... Jay had 35, Harden had 34. I'm trying to see how Trickaloo won MVP. I'm not gonna lie, I think, I think, <laughs> I think, uh, I think Jay Williams should have won, if anything, but he dropped 41 that last game. Very efficient shooting as well. So that's a surpriser. Harden gets his first ring. Curry is struggling, by the way. He's not gone far at all. And now we have the 1995 draft with Kevin Garnett. So the Knicks, Jazz, and Mavericks. How are the Knicks looking? Knicks with Chris Paul and Steph Curry. So they teamed up together, actually. Yeah, Curry's 35 years old, and he's been putting up decent points. His all-time points right now is at almost 30,000. So who can help the two guards? The shooter, Chris Paul's working out pretty well in Golden State in real life, and now they're in their prime, and you add on Kevin Garnett? Yeah, that might be actually a good team, like a real contender. And then Bryant Reeves, Antonio McDice. Yeah, this draft class sucks. Out of curiosity now, who is the leading uh, scorer? In a season, we have Curry back in 06. He got 10th. So no one's been able to pass these guys. It's going to be kind of tough. In a career, obviously, Kate is still first. But is there anyone up and coming that can take him? All these guys retired. Literally, all these guys retired. The only current player is Curry with 29,000 points. And he's only 35. If he plays five more seasons. He has the highest chance to beat these guys out. He made the most three-pointers with 4,100. So he broke his IRL record in real life, right? He might retire with 5,000 threes made, which is crazy. So Curry has the chance to be the highest like all-time scorer in this video, and I don't know if anyone will catch up to him. Let's just double check this Nets team. They also have a young Ray Allen, so he's got to progress as well. Two of the best shooters of all time on the same team with KG and Chris Paul. They're the new favorites in my eyes. Let's get it. And LeBron takes the cake for the uh, highest score in MVP, man. 34.4, 9, and 6. Damn. That's a lot of points, man. That's a lot. Is that the second MVP? I believe it's the second one. No, third MVP. He's yet to win a ring, bro. In nine years, he's yet to win a ring, which in real life, at this point, he won a ring at, in this season. So we have to, you know, it was in 2012, he won his first ring. So the thing is, uh, the Nuggets are not in the playoffs. So that's out of the question. Kings are the first seed. The Kings have been kind of slept on lately. Who's on their team? Stacey Jones, T-Mac, but a bunch of injured players. Goodness, man. Dislocated left padilla. Uh, pull the lower back muscle, lower left leg stress fracture. Guy's going through it. And I'm definitely beating Brian Scalabrini in the three-point contest. Argue with your mother. I'm telling you. Okay. And then Indiana is first with uh, uh, Carmelo and what's his face? Iggy. But Iggy is injured. Mark Gasol joined the team. He also dislocated his left padilla. He's out for the season. What's up with these padillas getting injured? It's tough. So who's going to go all the way, man? Is it going to be the... Uh, well, hold on. The Knicks should go all the way. It's 3-2. The Knicks should be going all the way. There's no there's no way they don't. It's game seven and they won it. Okay. Before we continue, I'm actually curious to see like how did this season go? CP averaged 23, 4, and 8. 
Curry averaged 22, KG had 15, and Ray Allen had 16. That's a championship team in my eyes. Come on, bro, lock in. Against the Heat, they end up losing. And it's gonna be, hold on, hold on. Thunder versus the Heat, which happened in 2012. So, or 2013 now we're in actually. But the Heat have Elton Brand, Mike Bibby, uh, Keon Boner, and then Anderson Barajal. This team is horrible. Meanwhile, the Thunder have Luel Deng and Chris ba Battle of the Mid. There's no way these are the teams going at each other in the finals. And the Heat win it. Mike Bibby wins a ring. It's a weird timeline. This upcoming draft, 1994, we have players like Grant Hill, Jason Kidd, Glenn Robinson. Eh, whole lot of mid, nothing crazy. Uh, Grant Hill is actually the best one we can get. Lakers had the first and third overall pick and the ninth overall pick. They have a lot of picks in this draft. Their current team looks like this. Chauncey Billups, Zach Randolph, and Richard Jefferson. So who can they add? The draft class is a weak one to get a lot of picks for. First overall pick, they select Jason Kidd. So they have Jason Kidd now. Uh, and then third overall pick, Grant Hill. They went two for two. Let's see if they can uh, go three for three. Hold on. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't care about these trades. Ninth overall pick. Okay, Cecil Howard, never mind. But I can't lie to you. Jason Kidd and Grant Hill, that, that's really good picks right there. Omari Stoudemire being a top three player in the NBA. I did not see that coming, man. The Charlotte Bobcats got a good one. Even with Kyle Lowry, this duo is actually solid. His stats aren't the best, but he's progressing. Baron Davis being a top five player. I didn't see that coming as well. Kobe, he's 21 years old, but he's 92 overall. He's got to start you know, waking up. And keep an eye out on Curry. He's 12th right now in the all-time scoring list. By the end of this season, I mean, let's just see how much he, he got last season points-wise. About 1,700 points. So he should be in the top eight by the end of this season. All right, next season, Miami and Phoenix are the top seeds of the East and West. If you look at Miami, the Heat, they are they can go back-to-back, -back, man, which would be insane because this team is not impressive to me at all. And then for the Suns, they are impressive because, remember, they have Allen Iverson and Steve Nash. They got some of the best guards in the game. And uh, if you look at the MVP, it was LeBron James again. But the most points per game score was LeBron James, who's injured, and then Iso Joe and Mike Bibby, man. Mike Bibby out of nowhere. I know he was a beast back in the day. Don't get me wrong. I didn't know he was a top four player, the way he played like. So, yeah, a lot of interesting names. And that's the thing. When you make it backwards, there's like a, a good mix now. It's a mix of like Corey Maggette being a top 11 player. Like It's just random. So here we go. Let's see if a new team can win it or will the Heat go back to back like a Drake diss track back in 2015 on Meek Mill. Um, the whole Nicki Minaj thing. Okay. Heat are back in the finals and it's Heat versus Suns. Moment of truth. 2-1. 3-1. And the Heat go back to back in 2013 and 2014. Just like in real life. But this time Mike Bibby is leading the charge, not LeBron James. So LeBron, still ringless, tough scene. Jokic retires, that's about it though. And now we have the 1993 NBA draft. We are making our way. The Wizards had the first overall pick and then Raptors. Um, Wizards have Zydrunas Ogowskis as their best player. And in this draft class, it's pretty decent. Weber and Penny Hardaway, that's about it though. I feel like Penny Hardaway or Weber is a win-win for the Wizards, whatever they take. And they're gonna select Chris Weber. So not a bad choice. Penny goes to Toronto, and they're back in business. Allen Iverson wins his first MVP, averaging 27 in the year of, what are we in again? I'll check in a second. Weber, rookie of the year, six man is Nash. So Suns have a good system going on, most improved Jason Kidd. All right, so Paul Gasol, his all NBA first team. Interesting list with him and Jason Richardson being there. I'd be forgetting Jay Rich was a, was a dog, man. Like, he doesn't get enough appreciation, I think, in NBA history. Yo, what happened to T-Mac? Where did he go? I, I forgot where Tracy McGrady went. But the Bucks have Kevin Durant and Kyrie, who's kind of old, but that's it. I mean, they're back together now. Chicago with Dirk and Keith Van Horn ended up being solid. I underestimated him. 90 overall player, Marcus Canby, JJ Reddick, Glenn Robinson. They have a good team. The Cavs have Kobe and Yao Ming, man. So Kobe is, uh, he's progressing pretty fast. They got a good team over there. Grizzlies, the, their fall off is pretty sad, man. They really, I thought they were going to win a bunch more rings. Uh, but the Heat, they might run it back. I still feel that the, the Knicks should be the favorite here. How did Curry do this season? How is he in the league history? He's top four. 33,717, bro. So he can be number one. Just 3,000 more points to go. And uh, he has the age. The Knicks are the sixth seed in the East. Let's see this time around who's going to go all the way. I want to see Curry win one ring at least. He's, he lost in the first round. Tough, man. And the Miami Heat. Hold on. 3-2 Blazers. Let me find out. The Blazers win it. Tim Duncan, I forgot about him. Yeah, they were kind of quiet, but 
Tim Duncan and Pedro Siakovic. Is that Ben Simmons? No, Bobby Simmons. Okay. Not the craziest team, but they got the job done. Anthony Davis finally retires after 20 seasons, and uh, he kind of fell off pretty hard. During his career, four MVPs, no rings. So Wembenyama is still, Wembenyama and Cade, they're still the best players um, until, I mean, you could put Derrick Rose in that conversation, but all things considered, Cade is the best player of all time so far. Now we have the 1992 draft, the Shaq draft. The Pistons had the first overall pick, Wizards back in it, and then the Magic. I want to see where Shaq goes. And the Detroit Pistons select Shaq. Good choice. Alonzo Mourning. No, Jim Jackson to the Wizards. Zoe to the Magic. Uh, and then the rest of the draft doesn't really matter. Chauncey Billups being a top five player in the league is something I didn't see. And that's huge for the Lakers because the Lakers have been horrible this entire video. They won nothing. Chauncey, Jason Kidd, Jermaine O'Neal, Zach Randolph, and Grant Hill, Nene. They have depth. This might be a team to look out for. Another year, another MVP, 2016, which proved to be a great year for LeBron. And now he's in his 12th year. So he actually only missed it. Like, we're only off track by one year in terms of, like, what happened for him in real life. Like, it's in reverse, but it's kind of the way it worked is it's still on track in a weird way. Shaq is rookie of the year in Detroit, as I would hope, as I would expect. Um, everything looks good here. T-Mac is progressing. Yes, sir. But once again, it's the Suns. But the Knicks are first in the East. Yes. Okay. So look look at that. Steph Curry is 39 years old. He might not have much more in him. Uh, don't know what happened to Chris Paul. I think he left. Yeah, he's not injured. He just left. But it's fine. So we have Ray Allen who cooked up this season. He was an all-star for the first time in his career. Putting up 23. KG put up 19 and 10. And then we got Sean Marion putting up 17. We have scores all around. And Curry is now third place for most points. I think after this next season, if he doesn't retire, he will be number one. So here we go, man. Let's see if New York can get a ring. I want Curry to win one. You can't be a top scorer. We lost in the first round. We lost in the first round. That's tough. You can't be a top scorer and not win a ring, man. Nets win it. Vince Carter ends up getting a ring. So that's something that I don't think he ever got in his career. Uh, I don't believe so. But yeah, Vince Carter, Shreve Abdul Rahim. And Brandon Roy, who's washed at this point, only 78 overall. They win it, fair and square. And Curry doesn't retire. Kyrie retires, Blake Griffin retires, Harden retires after only 18 years. Uh, but yeah, Curry is going to try to run up the score and be number one. Now we have the 1991 NBA draft. I think this one was kind of weak as well. Yeah, just Larry Johnson, the Kevin Matumbo, and Jason Tatum's uh, uncle. So that's, I mean, that's, that's really it. First overall pick goes to the Hawks. They've been a poverty franchise. So who are they going to pick? Kenny Anderson. They can't even draft right. It's been an issue for him all along. Larry Johnson goes to the Jazz. Raptors get a bot and a bot. <laughs> Another MVP, man. How many he got, man? 13 years. Bro has six MVPs, 11 All-Stars, no rings. So does it matter? No. All right. It, it really doesn't. You know, Larry Johnson's actually a beast, man. He reminds me of LeBron James back in the day. He was like a, like a Kmart version of like a Kmart version of a Kmart version of LeBron. Kind of. Wizards are the first seed. Rockets are the first seed. Let's see their teams. Wizards with Chris Webber. He progressed pretty fast in two, three years. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Put up 24, 10, and 6. And then Rockets with Baron Davis, Paul Pierce, Dwight Howard, Vin Baker. B Baker. Baker. What am I? New Jersey accent? No. Vin Baker, Isaiah Ryder, and Kenyon Martin. Wow. This team is nuts. Like, this team is insane. Rockets should be winning the whole thing. I'm surprised. Dwight Howard and Paul Pierce alone is crazy. You add Baron Davis. They went to seven. Hold on. Okay. Wow. Hold on. Wait. Kings are like that. Kings and Pacers. Wait a minute. Who the Kings have again? They had T-Mac and died. Uh, Dirk came to the team. So Dirk, T-Mac, bot, 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 midget, bot. Bro, that's tough. That's tough. Meanwhile, the Pacers have Carmel. They got the same team. They got the same team. I think Kings had this one. T-Mac wins his first ring, wins finals MVP in game seven. Okay, so uh, that's a good one, man. T-Mac had 32. It's actually a fire duo. Him and Dirk is an insane duo. I like that. And Curry retires in Golden State. He comes back to Golden State to retire, I guess, his last season, uh, last year of his career. So if we look, did he end up retiring first all time? No, second. Oh my God, 200 points away from Cade. So far, Cade is the GOAT. No one's past Cade. And look, even with Curry, I don't think he won a chip. Uh, yeah, 13 All-Stars, 6th Man of the Year, no chip for Curry, so 
that's tough. But he did make 5,328 three-pointers during his career, so he crushed it. Yeah, he had a crazy career in that aspect, you know, breaking his own record in real life. Uh, but yeah, that's insane that he was 200 points away. Uh, Jalen Green had the most 50-point games, it looks like. I'm just looking at other stuff. Yeah, Jalen Green was a walking bucket when he played. That's tough. So now we have the 1990 NBA draft, and this draft had uh, not the best players. Warriors had the first overall pick, then Hornets and Raptors. Yeah, this draft class, let me just see. Gary Payton, Mahmoud Abdul-Roof, that's it. I know Derek Coleman was the real life first overall pick to the Nets. So let's see, Warriors select Gary Payton. Okay, and we are almost like making our way down to the beginning of time because now we've reached the 1989 NBA draft. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 more, I'm gonna say, because at this point they skip many years. So 14 more drafts left, 14 more years of this. So here we go. It's basically who could beat, beat out Cade Cunningham. LeBron is 31 years old now. He progressed. He has a headband on. They automatically progressed that. So he has about nine more years to win five rings to pass Cade or else Cade is still the GOAT. And Kobe, he's 25. He's got to step it up now, win something. Durant really let me down. He hasn't done anything, right? I think he just won... Yeah, no, no, no chips. My boy, KG wins MVP. Yes, sir. The big ticket out in the Big Apple. You like that? It actually fits perfectly, to be honest. Uh, six years pro now. He averaged 25 and 11. Yes, sir. So, but unfortunately, Curry left. So, I don't think Knicks really have a chance. Yeah, they're the fifth seed. Cavs are the first, though, in the, in the East and the Blazers. So, Cavs with Kobe. Paul Pierce joined Kobe in Yao Ming. Oh, my God. This is now the favorite. And Jason Terry. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, that's that's a fire team. And then Tim Duncan, Tony Parker still somehow joins up with Tim Duncan and then Peja, Sean Bradley. I think it'll be a battle between those two. I like the way it's going so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't paying attention actually. The Hawks ended up winning. Russell Westbrook, hold on. Bro's 38 years old, still with a lot of energy. And oh, he ended up losing to the Bulls. The Bulls against the Nets. And remember, the Nets have Vince Carter. Bulls and Rockets. So Bulls have Keith Van Horn, Marcus Camby, Rashard Lewis. Uh, who's their guard? Their point guard is Mo Lester. They got a, they got Carmelo at point guard. No, that's weird. So Rockets, Bulls, I feel like Rockets should easily win this, but it's 2-2. Nah. Wow. Hold on. Game seven, Simcast time. There's no way. I mean, Rockets should, should easily, yeah, the Rockets should have this piece of cake. Uh, who do they have, though? I think they had someone, yeah, they had Baron Davis, Dwight Howard in them. So, yeah, they should have won it. Baron Davis wins his second ring. Meanwhile, LeBron still hasn't won one. KG hasn't won one. Kobe, Kevin Durant. I think Dirk ended up winning it, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, he, right, did he? No, yeah, yeah, 2017, just a season ago. So he won one. But yeah, Baron Davis looking pretty solid. And now we have the 1989 draft. Timberwolves, Lakers, Bucks. Let's see who goes where. You know, Shaq on the Pistons, he's been kind of quiet. We just need more pieces over there. First overall pick, Glenn Rice. Oh, Sean Kemp, Sean Elliott. This, hold on. Oh, this draft class sucks, I remember. Yeah, Sean Kemp goes to LA. Glenn Rice to the Wolves. Tim Hardaway to the Warriors to play with Gary Payton. It just, it doesn't work out well. My boy Gilbert, he's been kind of quiet lately, but he got an MVP. That might be his first one. Yes, sir. That's dope. So he was, uh, he's in year 13. So it took him 13 years to win an MVP. I wonder who's the oldest player to win their first MVP. Like how many years until they won their first MVP? I'm gonna look into that one day. Glenn Rice, Rookie of the Year, Billy Owens. Okay, okay, bop, 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 bop. And Magic and Pelicans are the first seed. So the Pelicans, who are the Pelicans? They have Gilbert Arenas, Joe Johnson, Ron Artest. Oh, I got a bunch of dogs on this team, bet. And the Magic ended up getting Carmelo Anthony, Alonzo Mourning, and Rip Hamilton. So they have a squad. We got, we got, they're going bam for bam. Uh, I honestly think the Pelicans could win it. I want to see Gilbert win a chip. He never did it in real life. Now is his chance to, come on. Okay, Magic Pelicans, just like I predicted. 2-1, 3-1, and Gilbert, come on, man. Going to a game seven. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No one's injured though. I think they're both healthy or else they would have shown. But Magic have the lead at home. Is Carmelo about to win a ring? Yes, sir. Dang, man. Lonzo Mourning, he dropped 33 in his fourth year. He wins a ring just like that. But Carmelo's finals MVP, and that is his first ring. 
congrats. He won it before LeBron. Quick update on the total career points. Kevin Durant is creeping up. He's third all time with 35,000 points and he's still playing. He's, he hasn't retired. So a thousand points in one season and he, he becomes the all time leading scorer, which I mean, he's a walking bucket. It makes sense. So he might, you know, break the record. He still doesn't want a ring though. Draft lottery Kings Raptors Hornets. Let's see. The Kings select uh, Mitch Richmond. This is the 1988 draft. Danny Manning, this draft sucks, man. Oh my God, these drafts suck. We're getting close to the Jordan draft though. All right, Gilbert, back-to-back -back MVPs. He's cooking up. I like this out of him. LeBron, defensive player, you gotta win a ring, man. Nuggets are, once again, not even in the playoffs. How is a LeBron-led team not in the playoffs? That's unheard of. 10 seed every time. That's unheard of, real talk. Pistons are the first seed in the East, by the way. So Shaq, Antoine Jameson, Glenn Robinson, Shaq putting up good numbers. Uh, let's just see. 24 and 11. Yes, sir. And the Kings with T-Mac are the first in the West. I want to see my Pistons win it. You know, I don't think the Pistons have won a ring at all in this video. Yeah, I gotta, we got to do like a whole recap, obviously, once it's all done. Hold on now. Grizzlies and Wizards ends up being the finals. Didn't see that coming. Grizzlies have who nowadays? They got Elson Brand, Zach Randolph, Grizzly legend, Allen Houston, Tyson Chandler, Nah, this team is not a championship team. Then the Wizards have Chris Webber. Now, Chris Webber, he's in his sixth year. He's actually been cooking up. I can see the, the Wizards winning it all. And that's what happens. They win it in six. Webber gets his ring. Love to see it. And does anyone retire? Russell Westbrook does with the Pistons. So after 21 seasons, he finished averaging 20 points a game and had a total of 30,000 points. Now, Kevin Durant is still playing. At the age of 38, he is still 92 overall. And that makes me ask the question. Yes, sir. He is first in all time points with 37,000 and he's still going. So he will be the person to beat next. I don't think anyone's going to break it, man. If Curry couldn't, if LeBron, he's definitely not. LeBron is ninth, but the way it's looking, it's not looking too good for him. So Kevin Durant is the new record holder. LeBron's how old? 34. He actually might break it, to be honest. I lied. He, he, he might break it. It's just tough that both these guys haven't won a ring yet. It's kind of embarrassing. Now for this next draft. Oh, I don't want to watch the draft lottery. It's the 19, I think, 87? Yeah, with David Robinson and Scottie Pippen. So whoever lands them, Thunder and Jazz. So it's going to be Pippen in the league before Jordan. We'll see what Pippen can do by himself on the Thunder. And then uh, we got Robinson going to the Jazz. So the Thunder have Mike Bibby on the team, and that's about it. So just him and Pippen. And then for the Utah Jazz, they've been a team that's won before. Mamoud Abdul Roof, David Robinson, Larry Johnson. Hold on, hold on. Nah, they got a, they got a squad. This is a legit team. And they're all around the same age. They're all young. This is, a, they're up next for sure. Utah Jazz, watch out for them. Yo, what? Chauncey Billups wins MVP. I did not have that in my bingo card. I actually didn't even own a bingo card. I haven't played bingo, bingo in a long time. We used to play, play bingo in Spanish, uh, Spanish bingo. But Chauncey Billups wins MVP, man. 27 and nine is nuts. 27 divided by nine is three. He got 3.3 rebounds. So that's pretty cool math right there. David Robinson, rookie of the year. Vladi Divac, man, sixth man of the year. What's he doing in here? I guess, yeah, we are reversing the entire league, so it makes sense. Uh, LeBron, still doing his thing on defense. He definitely has the defensive title. No one's taking that away from him. Uh, well, look, Jazz are the first seed. What did I say? Didn't I tell y'all the Jazz are a team to look out for? And they're the first seed. They might win a ring in David Robinson's rookie season. Raptors are also the first seed. Um, so let's see if it's good. Yo, Jazz lost 4-1, by the way, to the Thunder. I wasn't paying attention. That's tough. Raptors and Grizzlies, just like in the good old days. Raptors with Penny Hardaway, Corey uh, Maggetti, Danny Manning, and the Grizzlies with just an ugly roster, man. I don't know how they're doing it. Raptors win it 4-1, and Penny gets a chip. So that's pan out pretty well for him. Durant finally retires with a total of 38,891 points. LeBron could catch up. That's like four seasons. I think LeBron has four more in him for sure, right? He is 35. LeBron could pass him. And for this upcoming draft, the Bucks, Nets, and Magic have the top picks, so they have their shot to get. This is the worst draft of all time. There we go. This tastes the cake. Brad Darby, Chuck Person, Kenny Walker. Yeah, I'm sorry. This draft class is tragic. Brad Darby goes to the Bucks. Nets get a bot. Dennis Rodman goes to the Magic. That's just. It's just horrible and we are two drafts away from the jordan draft man we are almost there now we're in the year of 2021 and kevin garnett has taken the throne as the best player in the league over lebron james is is kg Shaq, and weber so big guys on top in an era where shooting threes is very common so it's interesting to see how they're gonna do it i mean obviously they panned out very well 
Weber has a B minus three point shot. Shaq can't shoot, but everyone else can shoot. These top players, everyone else has a shot. All right, David Robinson has won MVP this season. I'm holding my cap, by the way. I'm kind of like, I'm, I mean, bro, he's, come on, he's warm. He's freezing in Michigan right now. But David Robinson's MVP, Mark Price, rookie of the year. The price is right. Lade, six man once again. Shaq, defensive player. All right, man. Hey, hey, it's getting real. We're winding down. Knicks and Jazz are the, both the first seeds. Who led the league in scoring this time around? It was, yeah, how, did, how has Kobe been doing, man? Kobe's leading the league in scoring, but, yo, he's not winning anything. In 11 years, the, the most he's done is get all-stars. Like, I don't, I don't know. He's not on a bad team either, right? I mean, he's on the Clippers now. He went to the wrong LA team. Clippers have him, Brian Reeves, and a bunch of bots. So, yeah, they're no good. They did not make the playoffs. Yeah, Kevin Garnett has a chance to become uh, a champion right here. And I think it'd be his first one. So round one, they lost to the Raptors, so forget that. Raptors are, yo, Penny Hardaway getting swept by the Wizards. Hold on. Thomas Hammonds and Chris Webber. So the Kings and Wizards, we already know who the Wizards have. And the Kings still have, uh, mm, Dirk, Sean Marion. But T-Mac, he's not on the team no more. Dirk does have one ring. Can he win a second one with Sean Marion and Mitch Richmond, who's out for a couple weeks? Let's see. Or will Webber win his second one? Yup, Weber wins his second one. He balled out. They added him this year to the game, by the way. I'm officially, and he's balling out. They made him really good. Yao Ming retires. Amari Stoudemire retires. Once upon a time, he was a top three player in the league. Uh, seven All-Stars, no MVPs, nothing, but he did his thing. LeBron is creeping up on that record, man. 36,000 points. You know, after a, uh, like a week or two, he'll be at number two. And you give him a couple more years, he will be number one. So there's an update on that. Draft lottery, this is the 1985 NBA draft, so the one right before Jordan. I believe uh, this one wasn't anything crazy. Patrick Ewing, Joe Dumars, Chris Mullen, Karl Malone. Not bad. And it's 2023, so uh, whatever team that Karl Malone goes to, they got, I mean, you can't get away with the stuff he got away with earlier. Clippers had the first overall pick, so will it be Ewing and Kobe? Moment of truth, let's find out. Definitely don't want Kobe and Karl Malone on the same team. Patrick Ewing goes first. Okay, cool. So uh, Malone goes second to the Spurs. Joe Dumars to the Hornets, Mullen to the Cavs. All right. Yeah, Clippers look legit because Ewing starts off at 84 overall. So they, they could be a good team in the future or in these next couple years. Meanwhile, the Jazz lost. No, Larry Johnson's only 85 overall. He's not progressing that much. David Robinson's progressing pretty, pretty fast. Uh, what else is a good team? The Kings are a good team. Knicks are decent. It's just Ray Allen and KG at this point. And everyone else is pretty average. Like these teams are pretty even. Nuggets have not made the playoffs in a minute, man. LeBron is cooked. So here we go. We are in the 2023 season. Uh, so like last playoffs basically is where we're at at this point. 76 is going through it, man. If Vlad is your best player and he's at 79 overall, y'all are in trouble. Uh, Bucks, bunch of bots. Bulls, no. Cavs, no. Celtics, eh. Bro, how did Kobe and Ewing do? Clippers are not even in the playoffs. Is unreal. Nuggets are the four seed, so LeBron has a chance to actually go to the finals this year if he wants to, if he's feeling like it. And he decided no, he wants the Kings to beat him. So Jazz with David Robinson, they can go to the finals here. Not Phoenix Suns, Suns and Hawks. So the Suns, remember, they have a good team. Allen Iverson, Sharif Durahim, we lost Steve Nash, but this alone, it, it can get the job done. Iverson's worked with less before. He's worked with the Kevin Matumbo, just him. For the Hawks, we got Manu, Mark Jackson, Nah, there's no way a Manu-led team is winning at age 36. It's going to be the Suns, man. Whoa, Hawks win it. Manu, prove me wrong. Yeah, I didn't see that coming either. Fair enough, man. Good stuff. And no one really notable retires. And it's time. The 1984 draft with Jordan, Hakeem, Stockton. This is it right here. Who is going to get the first overall pick? The Pacers, Hornets, Mavericks, and the Pistons, man. If the Pistons land Jordan, that'd be crazy. But it's going to be probably the Pacers or the Hornets. Let's look at their teams real quick. Pacers have Paul Pierce and the Hornets have Chauncey Billups. Now, he obviously used to own the Hornets. He sold it. Jordan did. Uh, but he could go to this team. You never know. Moment of truth, man. Indiana Pacers select Michael Jordan. He is going to Indiana, it looks like. Charlotte selects Hakeem Olajuwon. John Stockton to Dallas. And Derek Walton to the Pistons. Ah, that's tough. And we are down to our last season. We started in 1983. I just plugged in the 1983 draft. So we have one more season to go in this video. And uh, that'll be a wrap. Shaq currently is the best player tied with Kevin Garnett. Dude, we've come a long way. 
And this could be the season where LeBron James uh, passes Kevin Durant. This will be the season where he passes him. LeBron's on the magic. One last, one last dance for LeBron, teaming up with Carmelo Anthony and Steph Curry's father. We're gonna see how this pans out, man. Can he get just one ring? And can Jordan win Rookie of the Year? It's the last dance, man. Let's get it. And in the last season, Kevin Garnett wins the last MVP. Hakeem is Rookie of the Year over Jordan. Kevin Johnson, sixth man, Garnett's defensive player. And most improved is Dominique Wilkins' brother. So uh, just like that, All-NBA First Team includes all big guys besides Marbury. No LeBron James, crazy enough. Karl Malone, Pippen, Kobe, Sean Kemp, Ray Allen, T-Mac, Vin Baker makes the list, crazy. So for the final playoff run, before we even go into that, man, we gotta see who led the league in points. Was it Kobe or no? Yes, it was. 27 points a game, kind of low to be honest, but probably because different rule changes. Bucks and Kings are the first in their seeds. Bucks, no, Bucks suck. And then Kings, I know they're a solid team. Shaq joined the team. Shaq, Dirk, Sean Marion, bro. Come on now, Kings should win the whole thing. They swept the first round, round two against the Admiral. They end up losing in seven. So David Robinson ended up putting a good fight. And against the Thunder, he wins it again. So Robinson is the Western Conference Finals MVP. Against the Bucks, hold on now. Hold on now, the Bucks swept him. We're ending off on a sweep. A bot ends off in the video for us, man. That's crazy. Okay, let's do a recap on everything that's happened. It's been, what, 40 years? We just did a 40 year sim, bro. I've been here forever. God dang, I need to get a job. All right, let's go over everything. Most points in their career, LeBron James finishes out on top, 39,000 points. No one is gonna beat that, of course. Uh, once upon a time, it was Victor's record and LeBron beat it, okay? And Cade Cunningham, I still believe, had the most successful career out of anyone. He had five rings or six rings. He had a couple of MVPs and led the league in scoring for a while in all-time list. Now looking at LeBron, in those 20 years, he won six MVPs, but zero rings, which is insane. Durant didn't win any rings. A lot of players didn't win any rings, man. Iverson himself, he ended up not winning any rings either, but I mean, he still had a few more years left, but still. Kobe doesn't look like he's going to as well. It was just some random players that were just popping out. Like Manu Ginobili carried a team, you know, a bunch of bots were carrying teams. And that's it. The NBA reverse, we should look at some more league history stuff. The most field goals was LeBron, okay? The most three-pointers was Curry, we said. Joe Johnson fouled up right behind him. And then most free throws, I guess, Luka. Um, rebounds, Victor. And then a big gap between him and Wilt is insane. Assist was Lonzo Ball. So he passed the record, and John Stockton didn't play yet. But yeah, Lonzo Ball with 13,000, that's insane. Uh, he also won an MVP. Blocks was Victor Mbanyama, and then Chet Holmgren. Steals was LeBron James, and then minutes was Kevin Durant. He played the most ball out of everyone. So with that being said, man, it, this was a movie. Uh, hopefully y'all watched it to the end. If you did, comment down below, do the don't lose. I'm gonna see that comment. I wanna see how many people watch the entire video. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Probably a couple hours, man. So if you did, I really appreciate it. You're a real one, and I'm trying my best, man. Let's keep it going. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace.